Hello, this is the right one. Mars is in the wrong outfit. <gasps> oh, crap! I can fix it, I can fix it. I can fix it. Oh, shit, I completely forgot. Guys, you it. know why? Oh, it. Computer. It is story time, yes. So the reason I was having such difficulty on Friday with uh, Ace Attorney, my hard drive on the other computer literally broke down on me. <laughs> Just crash, kaput, it is gone. There is no salvaging it. Um, so yeah, that's how it happened. I didn't very realize fast. my computer was in the process of dying. Yeah, literally just like very quickly. It it was quite literally on breath support and everything. Yes, Miss Mars Fairy. Like it, it was struggling. It is a good outfit. It is certainly a good outfit. I are, I already did the wrong outfit. Like in But day. um yeah, so that's the issue. I haven't had time to download the new assets onto the other computer. And I also have not uh bookmarked reactive fuji yet so i am behind i am still in my cosplay i know what i i changed you from you okay faraday cosplay to maya this <laughs> <laughs> is just a complete dum dum tis tis gory tis tis oh okay Yes, Miss Mars Faraday. I'm just cycling through all there my outfits all tonight. Right. Now, guys, really interesting, cool, neat thing that we might have to do something with later. But um, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, what's it called? Reactive Fuji now gives you the option to have both muted and deafened avatar states. Ooh. Uh, right now they just have the little symbol next to it. I You can kind of see it. It's technically behind the screen. <laughs> behind the art section. Um, but I can make it a whole new model if I wanted it to be. That, a whole new thing. So that is, is super cool. So, possibly new things. We like new things around here. Oh, I did. I don't remember that like too, but that doesn't mean you haven't mentioned it, as there's a lot of brain things. But um, uh, you know, we appreciate having you for whatever. I'm sorry that you can't watch them yet because you haven't played them. You should get around to that, obviously. Tis, oh, definitely. Tis tis glakatu. Mm. However, I hope everybody watched the um, the lost turnabout redirect. Is that what it is? Yeah, the lost turnabout I believe redirect so. that just came out today. I am currently in the middle of finishing the next. <laughs> thankfully, thankfully, it's a it's a flip. Yes, ooh, I saw your comment, Enthus. Enthus, I think you I think you commented that on the video that that is from, <laughs> as well. <laughs> Hi, bugs. It, you are nothing if not consistent. Yeah, we're just missing Mia. <laughs> we also have the Emma one, but that's the old avatar. Uh, mo that's the old model outfit. Oh yes, not the new model outfit. Oh, I'm so pretty. Old. I feel like you literally, you either said it on stream, or you com like when it happened, or you commented it on the video. I'm like 99% sure you commented on the video that it's from, Enthus, because it was like very iconic. It's like one of the earlier ones too. Yes. Looking right now. All right. All right. Yeah. Tell me. Tell me if you did it or not. Uh, playing playing the great ace attorney before investigations like to I don't know that Whoa. sounds kind of sus on the timeline wise uh, time either what? timeline what you a know? choice like so uh, brave so bold <laughs> holy fuck what what okay uh I just looked at this just on the channel and uh, the last part of reunion and turnabout has nearly 150 views for some reason that I don't, Holy that shit. I don't know why. Our average well, is usually like thank you, everybody. 40, you know, like in the 40s. That's like the average after like a while. It has been out less than a week. 40. And it is on. That... Why does that one have so many views? That's crazy. Oh God, that's wild. That's nuts. What the heck? 
<laughs> yeah, pastry buff, it really is. Yeah, I know, right? I feel like the thumbnail is just iconic. It's it's Patrick with the 40 lashes, but I made him Phoenix Wright, and I like morphed Phoenix Wright's hair onto him, <laughs> and I gave him a here, 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 we can we can see it. Uh, I mean that that's just some top tier editing. Yeah, guys, see? That's 148 just too four days ago. Good. Look at the thumbnail. It's also shorter. But, like, I don't know how many people actually stuck around, but, like, damn, I don't know why <laughs> why that one. Because, yeah, you could see, like, our average for, like, the first couple days is, like, 20, in the 20s. We get up to 30s. Every once in a while we get a hit, and they're, like, in the 70s. But they're usually in, like, the, the 40s, late 30s range. You know, pretty, pretty consistent. But this one <laughs> just popped off. I don't understand. I don't know. Very wild. Very wild indeed. Uh, you know, who knows. It's shorter, it got maybe just pushed. People thought the thumbnail was funny. It's not even a middle episode, it's the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> so it's even- it's shorter than the normal ones. Oh, we need Patrick in all the thumbnails? I don't think it works. I've had Patrick in other thumbnails. We tried it. The, and I don't think it. The X Factor is not Patrick Star. Yeah. I wish it was. I don't think that's the specific thing that makes it uh, wild, but yeah, you can't tell. Lost Turnabout Part One does have 95 views, but it's older, you know, so it's it's, it's gotten up, you know, it's had the time. <laughs> Majority of my thumbnails are works at art, but. Patrick, that is actually one of my favorite things is doing um, is getting to draw like the full the fully drawn thumbnails um, for the redirect. I obviously just can't manage that level, though sometimes I go a little more ham than I should <laughs> in the effort on them. But uh, yeah, I really enjoy getting to draw the redirect covers. Uh, I think they're very fun. It it does show. It and I really think the redirects show. are fun. The redirects are definitely like my favorite videos because I get to, for the now third time, guys, guys, <laughs> not even the third time. Guess so how many that. times Ori rewatches video? It, it has been cut down now because one grenade does the first pass edit, and two, the way that I edit um, uh, subtitles now is okay. This music is too loud in my brain. The way I edit the subtitles now is um only one pass instead of three passes so mm -hmm. uh, it has been cut down significantly but there's one pass for thumb subtitles obviously playing it the first time and then there's an entire pass for the redirect because i have to watch every single episode again for the redirect wait oh no <laughs> oof that's rough, pastry puff. That's <laughs> what just to just keep going and watching it, enthuse. I see. I see, Lakitu. I see. But uh, I I I'm very happy that I get to rewatch them. Um, for. Like all the times, because it really solidifies the the stuff in my brain about it. Mm. Right. Just like it, it really locked just sort and of exactly. But enthuse that's that's commitment, and I I appreciate it. Watching them all over again, because <laughs> you're just doing it for fun at that point, trying to get trivia stuff. <laughs> Committed to the cause. Oh yeah, exactly. I I have definitely multiple times rewatched the redirects. I laugh every time. I find them absolutely hilarious. They are uh, they are some of the best videos, honestly. They're just they're just they're, good. They're just so good. It's just worth it. Top tier. I mean, especially when you can boil down the entirety of Rise from the Ashes to an hour and twenty minutes. It's way longer than that. Enthus <laughs> might know how long exactly it is the whole thing, but but I don't. But very long. <laughs> I I wonder if that'll be the longest redirect. 
I am the curious. longest thing, right? Because it's still the longest whole turnabout, I think, at the moment. Mm. But I do know Farewell My Turnabout and Bridge to the Turnabout do go fairly long. But I wonder how long. And who knows? Because it does, it does the feel... The question, isn't it? It does feel like each episode does just get... Each turnabout does just get longer than the last one. Even within its same... Like, okay, hold on, let me back up. It <laughs> didn't feel like... I didn't feel like Reunion and Turnabout was so much longer than like n most of the game, most of the Turnabouts in the first game. I didn't feel like it was that that much longer, but I was like, ooh, it definitely like Turnabout Big Top feels longer than Turnabout Re Reunion and Turnabout, right? Farewell, oh, yeah. my Turnabout feels longer than Turnabout Big Top, but it's like wild. Felt like Rise from the Ashes could be classified as its own game. It's very long, but I'm I feel I'm so like it could. curious because I do know that like Farewell My Turnabout has double investigation segments, right? And so do some of the other turnabouts later on. So I, I even feel like the stolen turnabout was very long in just the sense of like uh, like doing things, right? Mm. So I'm so curious. We definitely did all the things to figure out uh, if they'll be long or not. An interesting fact about Big Top's length. Ooh. The length of the case itself, or the length how long it took us to do <laughs> I'm assuming the case itself. <laughs> but, oh, okay, you guys want to know a secret? What are you so, going to tell Some of you them, already Maury? know the secret. Well, Mars, you already know the secret. But some of uh, you already know the secret. I'm in the loop, you guys. Uh, some of the secret, at least. And that is, there are a, there are parts in this next batch of videos that are all turned about Big Top uh, that will be coming out this month, starting Friday. Yep, Friday. Yes. Um, Super and exciting. Keep an eye out for it. I don't know if it's five separate videos. I, I can't remember if two of them are in the same episode, but there are a total of five animated bits that I have animated. A little, a little thing, a little thing and too. And they're so. And one cool. of them is <laughs> absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and Dylan's raving about. It. He's like, it has to be its own short, so it will be eventually. I, I want them to be their own shorts because they're cute and they're fun. And I've put way too much effort into it, but you know. Yeah, little animated parts. Oh wow! Oh, I mean, it works. Guys. It's been working, pastry puff. When I do, when I have um, trivia, you know, ones that I post trivia questions that I vote, it's because I was like editing a video and I was like, "Ooh, this is a good <laughs> trivia question." It's like, "Ooh, memory unlocked." I can ask people about this. Damn, enthus, that's wild. You didn't turn about took four streams, while well, big turn about big top only took four and a half streams, which is That's nuts. Crazy. Now I will say I, I'm 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 not sure what it's gonna be like because I did end up cutting a fair amount of tangents, I guess, and chat specific moments um, out of this first stream of turn about big top. So um, it is cut down. However, it is still nine episodes. So, that is still a longer amount of episodes overall, which is funny. Still pretty long, I would say. You know, we've so hit it's, it's, our quota. It's nothing that is like, it's not Turnabout Big Top, I mean, I guess some of them are Turnabout Big Top specific, but it's like our little, like, saying, describing a scene, and I was like, I'll animate that action, right? And it has allowed me to draw... Uh, I I draw I doodle draw the the <laughs> characters doodle draw yeah because it's not like I'm not going nearly as ham in the sense mm. of like trying to accurately portray with like you know the sketch and then the next sketch and then that's the true stuff. you're not you know like guys it's literally it still like, looks hella amazing but uh, we'll yeah, show it's, one it, it's definitely not like outcast level I will show one detail. Because I want to show one. 
and I'll show the first we don't, one. We don't want Ori to drive herself crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't do it so... Like, I want to say shittily, but just, like, lazily, I guess? You know, quickly? I, I don't know. Oh, I, I feel, like, simply. Biscuits, Simp simply. Yeah. Yeah, sneak peek animation. Let me actually find where it is. <laughs> I have to find You guys it. get treated real well when you come to stream. You get to see all kinds of sneak peeks, hear all kinds of behind-the-scenes stuff. Okay, okay, here it is, here it is. Uh, I'm gonna have to change, change it to here as it loads. Okay. Hold on. It has sound. Okay. I don't know how loud this is going to be, but it's very short. Think some of it. He leans down, whispers into Maya's ear, and then she has. That's it. Think some of it. He leans down, whispers into Maya's ear. Isn't that so good, you guys? Isn't it but amazing? But it is like there's like two layers to it, right? There's like the sketch that is incredibly rough of the movement, and then I literally on top of that draw the characters. I don't like. Ah. There's not. And and the this first sketch is like incredibly rough, like thumbnail level. You know, mm -hmm. it's like um. It's like nuts. And so it's like really wild. How how good it came out in my opinion. <laughs> for being like, I have never I have like never drawn these characters before. I don't draw them very often. Uh, I will say it is a testament to the character design in um Oh yeah, and just like in Ace how Attorney, the fact iconic that iconic and recognizable no is practice right with no practice i can do a pretty decent job of looking at the image on the computer on one <laughs> screen and translating it into the other screen uh you know translate into the thing without really having a sketch for it thank you enthused so there are a total of three there are a total of five animations three of them have phoenix in them only one of them has maya and it was that one um two of them have regina and two of them have Max. So yeah, those are two more characters that I drew very well. I, However, I drew Regina very specifically. <laughs> Which you'll understand when you see it. And definitely if you watched it. Um, very funny. It's wild when you guys are saying like, Oh, like the Lost Turnabout was your first stream. Or like the Big Top streams was the first... Uh, the first time you're ever commenting in stream chat. What is the first stream ah. you got to Pastry Puff? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that that seems right though, Pastry Puff. Bisexual mess, indeed. Um, oh, absolutely, a hundred percent. Okay, I do have experience drawing Max. This is true, but I've never <laughs> drawn Maya. I've never drawn Regina. Uh, I drew a a U version of Phoenix, but it does make. We were just vibing. Yeah, Mason, I remember you were, you were you were here for like chill stuff at first. But it's weird when you guys are like, oh, we came in like the second game, and it's like, man, I feel like you guys have been here forever. <laughs> the whole time. And it's like it's nuts. It's like I don't even remember who was even here for like it all blurs together. Nice pastry puff. Right around the whole Regina age thing. Yeah, see? You guys are all like, oh yeah, turn about big top stuff. You know, second game stuff. And it's like, wow. I I, I thought you guys had been around long. <laughs> <laughs> You're so iconic. Hello, Winnie. Hi, You're Winnie. Such staples of the community that it's just like, oh. Exactly. Weird to think that you guys have not been here from the very start. That's just bonkers. Yeah, it's real nuts. I actually do have to do things because I've been I've been very behind. I will say, everything happened at the end of the month, and it's, I, I too need to do things. Yeah, we're like approaching critical mass. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> now it can. It's like it's right around the corner. Oh shit. Yeah. No, what happened was it was just like we had Easter weekend, so it was like okay, yep. Saturday. I did get a lot of stuff done, but uh, now I have the dog, and it's mm -hmm. like oh my god, I've been trying to. You know, I obviously added a little work to myself with doing these animations, but they were fun, so I don't really count them as being a waste or anything. But it is time, right? And it is like, okay, oh, I gotta get all these videos out and do all the outcast stuff. And I lost, like, my entire Sunday. So it was like, oh god. Uh, that's why there's significantly less shorts this week, guys. There's only shorts on the weekdays that don't have a video because I just, I just couldn't. <laughs> just couldn't do it uh all together let, let ori rest <laughs> and so it's like oh and so i'm like trying to get them all together and i haven't done outcast stuff for the past two days and it's like oh no i need to i need to stay on target stay on target <laughs> Yeah, I know you're newer, Winnie. You came from a cold front. Because we played cold front. Because you're a yes. studio investigator fan, as, a, as are all we. Of those yeah, I have two, four, six. And then we eight, got to play way more studio investigator fan, well, uh, another game, eight, sooner than I expected. 16, 17, 19, 20. Okay, that should be enough. Guys, quick, name me an animal or a thing that can come in a pair. Socks? Not pair the fruit, but I already did socks. Uh, pants? Not socks, not shirts. A uh, pair of pants is tricky because it's it's still a singular oh. item. We're, we're working on singular shoes? versus pair. I already did shoes. Gloves? It, it also has to be something a four-year-old can recognize. Gloves? A uh, pair of gloves. Okay, that works. It's not spring themed, but it does make sense. Uh, oh, pair of gloves. Doves. Doves. Uh, I'm liking doves, cause like two turtle doves, I think. We we could do birds. Yeah. Again, it's got to be words a young Easy. kid can know. <laughs> um, I don't know animals that usually come in like animals that come in pairs. Well, like a pair of rabbits, a pair of dogs. You just pick like, to anything. I don't know. It just has to make sense. Cats, so. dogs. I, I've done cats. I've done dogs. I've done butterflies, flowers, cows, sheep, dinosaurs, clouds, bees, flowers, pencils, backpacks, I don't know, paintbrushes. Bananas. A pair of bananas? They come in a bunch. Hmm. Apples. Yeah, but if if later down the line I'm teaching few versus most, okay, that could get confusing. A pair of apples that could work. We could do that. Uh, a pair of glasses? No, that's like pants. Yeah, no, that's like pants. See how Earrings? bad English is, you guys? Earrings? Why are we calling things pairs when it's one thing? Is? I don't know how old. Some of he them have their ears pierced. Uh, if it's they a boy, might. maybe not, but. <laughs> Pair of hands, your hands. Pair of hands. Pair of feet. The twins from The Shying. Pair of kids. <laughs> Just a pair, pair of, of twins. Kids. Pair of kids. Uh, let's do duck. <laughs> you like ducks. What about oh. hamsters or mice? We might be able to do mice because mice is a more common word. Oh, Mason, about not watching the shorts, I totally get it. Honestly, there was a point of time when it was like, and I totally get it, but, but like being on stream, live on stream was like a lot of the fun. I definitely don't watch big streamers because like if I'm going to watch a streamer, like you're live because I get to interact Pair with you. <laughs> it's fun that way. And that's why I don't want to get too big ever with the streaming. I want to be able to stay small and talk to you guys still. Oh, spoon. Um, we'll do spoon. Who spoons? Yeah, spoons pair are of good. spoons. Why? Why uh, the hell not? Or plates? Oh, that could work. That could um, be good. But I actually, for a long, for for a period of time, stopped doing any shorts because the method I had been using before that made it really easy 
uh, sort of stopped uh, working, basically. I couldn't use that method anymore. And, um, but then one day Enthuz just mentioned that out of the blue, was like, yeah, I found you because of your shorts. And I was like, well. And that's when uh, Ori realized, oh, well, I Enthuse, guess we got to do shorts. pillar of the community is coming here from the shorts. I guess so many other people are coming here from the shorts, like finding <laughs> us from the shorts and it's hanging out. So it's worth it. So I got to do it again. And thus we picked it up again. I gotta read Dichotomy's first joining stream. Oh, Ladybug. Let's do Ladybug. That's always a fun one. Uh, yes, that is true, Dichotomy. You, you like, Instagram messaged me out of the blue one day. You're like, hey, I'm doing uh, homebrew stuff and you were in an inspiration or something. And I, you know, I invited, <laughs> it was like a bunch of creators, like in a group message and you're like come join oh, the discord wow. and i was like okay i know one of those other people in there because i knew um airpock Air, Air, i can never say the name how it's spelled it's just weird for me uh Airpocalily, that one <laughs> and they were in that group too and i was like okay i know this creator too so i'll join and that's uh, so yeah. cool and that's how we that's how uh met dichotomy a parakeet! Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> pair of peacock and peahen. I think this is just very specific for a young child that isn't particularly interested in birds, necessarily. Yeah, unfortunately. Yes, aren't they so cute, Slasher? Uh, nice! You just found it? You just got recommended in one of our lives? That's pretty neat. Aw, a pair of black and white cats. So cute. Aww. Not to be nooping, but you are. Believe here. me, I'd, yes, I would indeed. put my kitty in there if I could. Saw noop in the redirect? Possibly. Noop in the we. 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 Bleh. I think. Yeah, yes, I said noop. <laughs> and it said noop. <laughs> yes. 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 That's why. <laughs> but it was like me saying nope, <laughs> but with a weird noop. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like with with a twang, uh, guys, with a little with a little spice. It is really funny that you guys are all saying like turnabout big tops are like the first times that you like came to stream, because I it's actually really funny because in editing the videos we're name dropping a ton of you guys. Like we're saying oh, yeah. enthuse, we're saying lackatoo, lackatoo. <laughs> Dylan said your name wrong, like a two bro. I don't know if you remember, <laughs> but he said like Lakitu or something, and I was like, it's Lakitu. <laughs> no worries, Lakitu. And I was uh, like, oh, it's, it's Lakitu, like Mario. <laughs> That's so funny. I think we both called him out on um, that one. Uh, the context PCM is that um, in Ace Attorney, we do a redirect which is like a compilation of all the funniest parts of stream of the videos you've heard both lakitu is the is how i've always heard like the entity from mario pronounced i've never heard it pronounced any other way me neither I, i've always heard it as lakitu yeah oh pair of seahorses okay so cute. let's print shit <laughs> This computer isn't hooked up to the printer. Oh no. God damn it. Is your phone? Yeah, it is. So I'm just going to use drive on my phone and print it from there. Yeah, that that would be my suggestion. God fucking damn it. Yeah, that's that's what happens when you're not getting to change computers willingly. <laughs> yeah, I uh, guys, you know one of the reasons I'm super upset about it i don't mind that you know i i lost some pictures here and there i lost some of my writings but honestly i write everything on google docs so most of it is pretty backed up that's good what isn't backed up at least fully are my pictures and all my music now i love soundtrack music and i love anime openings and endings not exactly the easiest to find on the music stores so I, I do a little finagling to get them onto my phone hint hint nudge nudge um yeah apparently the way it works is for itunes to recognize where that song is 
it has to be in the exact same location that you originally downloaded it from. So like, let's say it's in a folder oh, no. in your downloads, like it cannot change folders. If you decide I want to make a new folder and put it in out Noah zero OST, suddenly iTunes can't find it anymore. I have 491, no, I have 506 of these types of songs. So I have decided I have a flash drive backed up with all of it um as soon as this semester ends i am just going to spend a ridiculous amount of time re-downloading renaming giving cover art and listing the artist to all my fucking music pain you can do it you'll get through pain. it pain you'll get through it um Mason, so in in recent memory, not that I can remember, but I do I do think that like turnabout big top being the fact that like everybody here is like yeah this is around the time when I joined this, so JFA is like the beginning of when we're actually like getting to interact with chat a lot more just because there's a lot more people so. I mean, I know we've definitely said your name during Ace Attorney streams. <laughs> definitely recent ones, too. But I'm very, very behind. <laughs> she does her absolute best. Oh, and yes, definitely. We always say hello and everything, but those those total beginning parts get cut out. Yes, good night. You're right. Anytime you say good night, we always say good night, Mason. So, <laughs> you're in there. <laughs> Ooh, Fleck to <laughs> Printing That's rough. color. Not double-sided. I have five pages, so we'll have lots yeah, to do it, tomorrow. Uh, this is why I don't fuck with Apple, guys. I just gotta say, don't fuck with Apple. <laughs> the only time I've ever contemplated about getting an iPhone is, like, to do VTubing. And that's down <laughs> the line after I actually get a model going. Oh... <sighs> You have well, PCM as she is wont to be. That she huh. is. Well, Pace Repuffs, we're not too far behind <laughs> other yeah. streamers. Yeah, we're catching up. Uh, we're getting there. Video wise, at least. It, I, I gotta say, guys, it'll be years after we're done playing Ace Attorney before I'm done editing all the videos, man. Because I'm literally oh, a year yeah. behind. I, I, I said this in uh, one of the Discord channels. I think it was the the secret one. But it was like I was editing I think it about was. Big Top. And I said in, in the video, in the stream, I said, well, it is Pi Day. And Pi Day is 314. <laughs> So, oh gee, look, passed. an entire year ago. It's been a year <laughs> since that stream. There is a Jeez. section where we will catch up in the time stream a little bit because of Dylan's bar prep for like two months. So there will be like a little yeah, there will be a group. little bit of a jump. But it, it is a it is a it is a it is a battle I will never win as <laughs> I I cannot edit more than two videos a, a week. And one stream is like six to nine videos, so it is a, it is a, a futile to think that I'll ever catch up. Uh, well, if you don't have a choice, there's no, you know, there's no shame in having an iPhone if, if that's all it was. And like at the very beginning, like I had a, I had the second generation iPod Touch. That was like the big thing I ever first bought with my own money was like I saved up and I got myself an iPod Touch. And then of course, like a couple months later, they came out with the fucking third gen with the camera and I was pissed. <laughs> but, uh, you know, um, my grandfather bought me the first generation iPad for Christmas, which is really wild. That was like a really wild thing. I think literally what had happened i had like mentioned that there was something on the news that my parents had talked about again this is this is years ago because this is ipad one right uh mm. that was mentioned on the thing about like someone in like about a school giving ipads to their students for schoolwork, and my grandfather oh, like yeah. overheard this and was like uh was like here you go, Ori. Little Merry Ori, Christmas. do you need one and I was for just like, school? What? I didn't. I one. I didn't ask for this, but two. Damn, thanks. Like, oh, that ain't that ain't cheap. He's an Apple guy, though. 
He's a big <laughs> Apple fan. Yeah, my dad is also a huge Apple fan. That's how my family ended up with so many Apple things. I've just never gotten into it enough to be worth it, and it's just more annoying than it's worth. Like, I'll get it I for specific this. things, I, but like... I have an Apple as my school computer, and it, it works well, it loads fast, it does what I need to do. Can I imagine ever reading fan fiction, working on stuff, and using it in a more relaxed way? Absolutely not. That shit is my school computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mars opening up the freaking Milano hoats and kits. Oh no! She's like... God damn! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here class, come come see the freaking Kofi kiss. God, I. It's when all the mods are edited. <laughs> yeah. That was such a brain fart moment because I completely forgot that if I open photos, it's going to open to the photo I most recently saved, and I saved it on my phone, and it's all linked! God damn it, all Another I wanted to do was see Apple. the mistake I made. Another yeah, point against Ap Apple. Apple exposing me Apple, in Apple front of my classmates. It. What the hell? Showing the betrayal. <laughs> Mars' ships to everyone. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. Just just go back to uh, the lecture, please. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Uh, yeah, I, I am not looking text. forward to fixing the music bit on my computer. Damn, like it's Because I, I'm pretty sure the moment I plug my phone into the new computer to try to back it up, it's going to get all confused and be like, hey, where the fuck How's is the music? Life, okay, we'll just take away all of it. Oh like, no. <laughs> no, please. Oof. I had to do that one. This is why. There was an instance I had dropped my phone. Okay, so I was in undergrad, first year, and I very stupidly <laughs> dropped my phone <laughs> in the toilet stuff. up at school. Oh my gosh, so, Mars. Of course, I, I like panicked, threw it into a bag full of rice, and was like, oh god, is this ever going to work again? I don't know. So, uh, luckily it did work, but it definitely started crackling um, whenever oh. I used it. So I was what? like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like, the audio wasn't good. It was definitely, like, the rice helped, but it didn't uh -huh. save it. So, when I went back home for break, uh, I was treated to a new phone. Unfortunately, we didn't do the thing where, you know, you go to the store and they sync up both phones so everything could transfer. Instead, I started with an entirely new phone. At that time, I had 486 downloaded songs. Or probably less, because that, that was a couple years ago. Maybe it was closer to 300, but it was still 300 too many. Because I had to sit there for an entire day and be like, Okay, this is from the Okami soundtrack. It's called this. Type in the title. Now I need to get the picture art. Now I need to, um... Oh, this is, this is way like, more, or way thing. more of I'm, I'm like over here. I want Android it to phone. look like it's actually music. <laughs> I'm like, Android phone, fucking download the thing. It has the fucking default little gray with the music note, and it's got whatever I hate fucking that. It is. drives me nuts. <laughs> so How am I supposed to know what I'm listening I'm to if I can't so see the album lazy. art? This is, this is the level of commitment that I, that I do not have. No, I was... Yeah, it's a level of commitment. <laughs> I, I edit what album it it's from, it. if that's applicable. See, Come okay. On. You gotta. What, you gotta. I when I, when I, so I've made... The great music note is ugly. <laughs> I've made music for, like, I've made music, right? Like, I've, I've done the, like, bard songs that I've done, right? And um, for those, when you do them, it, like, allows you to like add all that stuff like artists like i'm so fucking lazy i'm just like nope boop name done i can't even do it for my own song i'm so lazy yeah i'm so 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 lazy. so lazy i think it's just one of those things where i'm going to need like a mindless day to do it and i'm definitely gonna need to have some kind of show in the background because this this is gonna be painful <laughs> This is gonna be so fucking painful. One and a half 
thousand songs in those. Jesus Christ, guys! I can't even go through my Back pictures. Back them up in those. Back them up. <laughs> Guys, I can't. I can't even go through my pictures. Back up your to like. Back up your hard drive. Cut the, okay, like, yeah, right, guys, guys, right guys, now, guys, enthused. Okay, right now, back stories. up your hard drive. This I is have your homework. Two stories. This is your homework. I got two stories. One, the worst phone incident that I've ever had was uh, we went on a vacation, uh, and as part of this vacation, we took this ferry to this remote island, and the only place you could, you know, the only way you could get there is by ferry, right? And it was like a very crafty island. It was really fun. We're taking the... I'm taking pictures and stuff. We're taking the ferry back. I Wait, have I no pockets. Okay? So we've taken the ferry back. I we're, The ferry has docked at the dock. I don't have pockets. We have yet to get off the ferry. So I go, ooh, my mom has a pocketbook. Mom, can you put my phone in your pocketbook? Yeah, sure, sweetie. We're walking... She's in front of me. We're walking along... The like metal dock thing. I hear the wind picks up. I hear ah! Dunk! I look over the edge and there is the back of my phone floating down slowly in the water. My mother didn't put my phone in her pocketbook like I asked. She instead held it with her hand. And when the wind came, she reached up to grab her hat. Now you might think, oh, she reached up to grab the hat with the hand that had the phone in it and thus let go of the phone. No, she reached up oh. to grab the hat with her empty hand and still let go of my phone, <laughs> dropping it into the intercoastal. Thankfully, uh, by that time, Google was a big thing with all of Google's, like, stuff, and my phone being an Android is connected to Google, so all of my pictures had already uploaded, and all of my stuff is on the cloud, and good, good Yay! Job. But Jesus fucking Christ. Second thing. Uh, I had a, a brief scare where my computer would not turn on, this computer that I use now, would not boot up. It would, like, it just, like, had a black screen. And it wouldn't boot up. And I freaked the fuck out. It was like, I'm going on vacation with Dylan, like, the next day. Like, oh my god, what is wrong? And so it worked out in a way where I, like, I took my computer to, like, a repair shop. And um, it worked out in a way in the sense of that, like, I was going on vacation, so it wasn't like I was going to be working on the comic or anything. Um, anyway, so that was, like, good timing. And thankfully they and fixed it. It allowed it. Mars to catch up on a lot. But thankfully they, they fixed it and it was all good and it was actually just a really stupid thing. Um, but after that, I now invest in a cloud software that backs up my entire computer to a cloud. And I pay. I pay for that because God fucking forbid <laughs> that something happens, I think I would die. Thankfully um. Dylan has not done anything. Dylan actually pointed me to this computer repair shop, so without him, I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have succeeded, and I would have had a worse meltdown because Jesus Christ. Dylan saves the day. Dylan saves the day. We do have like parts of the comic uploaded onto Google, uh, but they're big files, and so it's hard to like keep all of them in every form. Yeah. So I'm very happy, and this is a money well spent, in my opinion. Because it'll also make it that easy is, you know, when I do have to get a new computer, because that, that's just how life works, um, it'll be an easy transfer. I was very much in denial. Yeah, I have accepted at this point that there will be a day when my computer will die, and I just have to accept that. And I have, so now we just, you know, we we calmly prepare for the inevitable. <laughs> Whenever that day arrives. Hello, Robo. Hi, Robo. Okay. Just used YouTube for a while. Did pastry puff, Oof. and then it was just easier to have the music. Like I wanted to be able to have my screen off. Uh, yeah. Having the same music here. Going. I'm it honestly on battery, really close. Saves on charge. I'm really close to changing to Spotify. I, I had been, uh, I've been Amazon Music for a while, mainly because you like you got a deal through like I already have Prime and everything, but it's really had like a lot of weird shit with the songs and like not having songs, and I'm just like, ugh. I know that I can e relatively easily transfer all of my. Um, 
playlists and shit over with like free software you know like a free service so I'm debating it duct tape well, all your electronics to, to, to bits and wires oh my god oof yeah that's a vibe enthuse yeah see I'm at the, I'm at the point now well I've always actually been at this point I've always been a person <laughs> where like I like DVDs and I like CDs and guys, Same. guys, guys, you can burn your, I don't, uh, you can make DVDs, they're a little harder, but every computer comes with software to burn your own CDs, especially if you have a disk drive. So guys, fuck, like, fucking do it, man. <laughs> like, do it. Yeah. It's not that hard. If your computer is halfway decent, it does it pretty fucking fast. You shove it on there overnight and just burn, burn the CDs, You can man. actually own your shit now. You can have it. Nobody can take it from you. That's one of the things that drives me nuts about oh, yeah, subscription Oscar. services DVDs in and streaming 100%. is like, why Never. can't I own anything anymore? Why can't anything be mine? Yeah. No. Why can't I have my music? If why I can't love I have it, my videos? If I love it, we buy that DVD of it. Guys, guys, did you hear about the price hike of those copies of freaking over the garden wall dvds going for like yes! bajillions of money i got an over the garden like i have had one i have an over the garden wall dvd because the second i saw that show like that show i'm like fuck yeah there's a dvd let me or you know, Ori just... was enjoying over the garden wall before it was cool i also have all the gravity falls dvds which is sadly not the entire series uh is it the entire series now hold on it might now be the entire series. I'm blanking. Because there was, like, the first two DVDs weren't the entire series. But then I think they did release a box set that I do have that has the entire series. I think that's what happened. That sounds right. I also have that the entirety of Avatar The Last cool. Airbender. Me too! Uh, I, I actually found a box set of both Avatar and Korra. See, I never really. It, like, was, I it was marked some of down Korra? from like eighty dollars to oh, nice. thirty. I was like, "Oh, oh yes. I have to." A like, snack. how can I not? I own the this entirety of good. Adventure Time on DVD. Uh, I own some of the original Teen Titans. I hope to get them uh, oh, slowly. That would be nice to have the full season of Teen. Yeah, I think I have season five. Um, I have. Yeah, all of over, all of Adventure Time. That's one of my prized possessions. I also have Uran Ice. I have oh, uh, so good. Both seasons of One Punch Man, but I need the next season. I have all seasons of Mob Psycho because yes, please, thank you. Um, this is all from memory. I can't look at my <laughs> at my thing. Dylan and I started watching Korra Pastry Puff, and we got through all of season one. But then we kind of fell off of it in season two, and we just sort of never, like, never got back into it. And it was like, eh. I wasn't so into it when I was, like, dying to watch it. That That's my biggest problem. If I don't have someone that's, like, to watch it with specifically, where this is, like, the allotted time, if I'm not, like, super duper into it where I need to know what happens next, I just, I just kind of fall off of it. Which is sad. But that's life. Oof. Uh, these are... Okay, this is the wrong flash drive. Damn it. Okay. Are I mean, you I the love right uh, flash drive? I love Bolin, so, you know, he was a highlight no matter what. Bolin was a fun character. And what was it? Fuck the love triangle. That yeah, was hell. All of, all of it was too much. That and was Bolin's, my actual Bolin's hell. Bolin never felt like he really was in it. He was just kind of there. Yeah, he just kind of... <laughs> he was just kind of like, like... He felt very much like the kid that was like, wait, everybody likes this girl, so I guess I must like this girl too. You know, like, it was very much like those vibes. Very ace vibes, if I'm being completely honest. I don't know if I go so far as to call it Ace, but it was definitely just, something. Just that one... Aha! This is the music. Just I the one vibe drive. of the, like, I don't actually have real feelings, but I don't really know what real feelings mean, so that must be what this is. You know, that's kind of the Ace <laughs> experience. <laughs> 
I don't think Bolin is actually ace. It's just that one part where it's just like, yeah, that's a vibe, man. Where he's just like, kind of oh, like yes, there for the ride. like Korra. Yeah, like, like if my brother likes Korra, she must be great, huh? And it's like, okay, Bolin, no. Okay, let's check this. I have Dying oh, Wish. Man, Ace Attorney favorites up. list. Ah, uh, yes, because of Nicole's. Oh, you're analyzing what you really like about characters. Ooh, very fun. Oh, yeah, 100, 100% 100 enthused. But he's also... Ooh, interesting act too. I haven't seen that one. I was Four definitely very one. early in the Star Kid universe. Um, basically, the only thing okay. at the time of me learning about them that they had done was uh, was really um, a very part of musical. And then I was along for the ride. Like I, was, I remember when Starship came out. I remember when um, so a bunch of them came out. Files drive. And then, uh, yeah, and then this? I went to concert, which was really very cool. Um, and then just kind of, you know, your interests change and you just kind of <laughs> forget about them in a way and you don't keep up. Such is life sometimes. Oh, topical enthuse, topical. Topical indeed. It's more just like, you know, I find it's one of those things where it's like, you you laptop. they they like don't have anything new that you want to watch yet oh, this and is then all the clip studio stuff by time something new does comes out you're not like thinking about them and then you just don't have the time <laughs> yeah guys so um Dylan and Doug are stream can hear that game yeah if you can hear it Mars stream can hear it Dylan and Doug are playing a video game <laughs> and I do have my door open which I normally don't just because I have the dog and while she is asleep now um, if she gets up she gets upset if she's locked in the room and wants to wander around so <laughs> be warned but yeah that's such a good Looney Tunes episode I'm not exactly sure what they're playing 
they were playing Monster Hunter. Or at least I thought that's what they were playing. <laughs> but But no, uh, it's not so sure. I feel sure. like the anger is not a Monster Hunter thing, so I don't actually know. Maybe I can turn this one into a music flash drive. Okay, guys. One of the most annoying things is drawing two characters interacting with each other, like physically mm. touching each other in some way. You know, another annoying thing? Coloring said characters physically yeah, well. touching each other in an interactive way. Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if you ship it, guys, you could ship it. If you want to ship it. I see uh, okay. someone shipping Sinnet with another OC. Yes, the classic. I didn't know this early. We were going to have some dichotomy loves doing ships. that. Dichotomy ship. Okay, dichotomy ship sit it and the shark fae foot that <laughs> character. Uh, the dichotomy ship sit it and this new koi character from Cowie. <laughs> Two characters touching each other. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, so, the koi guy. So intimate. All right, guys, who are your outcast ships? I know Enthu's hard reps for uh, Hotsin and Sinnet, or Sinsin. I mean, it's hard not to. Come on. Yeah, the cool guy in the Discord. It's Cowies. It's so easy. Mars does make that one entry really gay. I was drawing it, and I was like, oh, Shit yeah. Milano and himself. <laughs> I just wanted them to be friendly. <laughs> I know. No, I, I I feel the vibe, Mars. But I was definitely drawing it, and I was like, "Yep, this is this is the shit fuel. This is this is." Also, the... I think I fucked up, you guys. Oh no! What? I. So I'm I'm cross referencing my phone and a flash drive, and it does not have my most recent downloaded music. I think it goes back to the last song I downloaded, which was Detective Detective. Oh, which yeah. Which was last year. Static P. Then I had a, That's such a good song. hiatus from downloading where I actually bought the Trigun uh, albums. So there was no oh. need to back those up because I bought them. Then I downloaded the opening from Demon Slayer. Then I have the Jujutsu Kaisen opening. But wait. Then that means I'm missing some Amelie music too. God damn it! Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna have to try to get into that hard drive this weekend. There's, there's no way I'm losing all my music. Have you, have you no attempted way. to? My dad did attempt to, and it apparently made a click noise, and he basically said like that usually mean it's kaput, but we can try again. And I'm like, mm. please, <laughs> I'm desperate. <laughs> Well, there's a there's a really good computer place that I told you about that if you do want to have them try, uh, I could tell you where they are. Well, it's also one of those things, am I willing to spend money on this? That is very true. Is this important enough to me that I want to spend my money? Okay, so this is the Clip Studio flash drive. This is an empty flash drive. This is the pictures flash drive. This is the Pastry Puff. documents flash We're drive. This the is the music boat. flash drive. I have one ship in Outcast, but I don't need it to be canon. <laughs> I'm very happy with everyone just I'm, being bros, I'm and I'm here for the bros. I'm happy to hear people say they don't need things to be canon. That, that's uh, appreciated. Double questions are never a problem, Pastry Puff. Insect colors oh, cannot exist as they are not vertebrates. That's, that's the big thing. I felt like they were too removed from humans in the evolutionary scale tree to feasibly be sort of like a, a collared thing and so they are limited solely to vertebrates i mean get ready to be wrecked amazing that's all i'm saying nope no top when is the outcast up. album dropping <laughs> we don't have any music miss Ooh, I'd love to see that pastry puff. I keep I, I do want to make like a like a in-depth thing about collars and how they work, but it's just it's it's a lot you know, time time commitment, you know? 
so many things. It's definitely something I want to have. Like how Dungeon Meshi has like the adventures Bible. Like I want to have things. Uh, that would be so cool. But it's like, just please. time. I found a six flash drive. <gasps> Maybe this is it. Uh, I am praying. I am Mars hoping. Mars around a room. <laughs> <laughs> no, because... Oh. Because I remember running out of room for music on one, I know I asked my dad for another. Wait a second. Um, That's not a flash drive. <laughs> oh no. This is to hook up the Steam controller. Ah, uh, it's damn a it. dongle. So not the dongle. <laughs> uh, enthused, I do plan to do more. We've been on kind of a hiatus of those solely because uh, really, 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 really gotta get comic stuff done. So having yeah. this a lot of time to be always solely actually working on the comic is Priorities necessary. definitely shifted um, a little bit. Yeah, this, this, this is like, we used to have a backlog, guys, and we really don't know more. <laughs> so I'm down a little bit inside. Oh no, I hecked up. It's okay, Ori, you're not the only one dying. Yeah, and so, um... It will come back because there will be time, a significant amount of time, before we do get to the point where I have to draw them. Um, so they that will come back. I will be back in a moment, you guys. Wish Mars luck on her on her journey. There's one last place I can think of it. It's just it's on the other side of the room. <laughs> but it'll only take we hope you find your dad. All right. And see, and Mars didn't spring for the wireless, guys. What a noob, huh? What a noob. I'm glad this la this entry I'm working on is on the shorter side. Otherwise, I don't think I would be able to finish. But... We are going. All right. One down. Woo. Ah. <laughs> Dude. Why do they all have to have char multiple characters? I know why, but it's a pain. They are adorable boys. All the adorable oh, boys. no such luck. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Uh, How many journal entries are in journal one? Seven. No, seven? Uh, yeah, yeah seven. seven. We're gonna end on seven. Seven. However, journal entry length is uh, subject to literally nothing. There is no rules for how long a journal entry ends up being besides how long it needs to be. Exactly. Six is medium. It's kinda, seven so is it, it longer. Works, it works both ways where it's as long as I need it to be to tell the points I want to tell in that part. And then it's also as long as Ori needs it to be because then the panels get added. Yeah. So they always end up longer and longer. Yes, it's always they are. About that balance. The, the, the content within each entry is roughly what occurred during one day. Um, um, but that day may be busier with a lot more stuff to write about. So the length inside, like how much Hotsen has to write, basically, <laughs> can vary greatly. So it definitely varies for sure. Like, Entry two has 13 pages versus entry one only has one page. You know, entry, entry one, four, not, I'm sorry, entry three only has four pages, about that day. but entry five has 11. So, you know, it's, it's, it varies greatly based on what happens, how much Hudson feels like writing that day and etc. But the behind the scenes is definitely Mars does it for however long she needs to make the scenes happen. And then it usually gets even longer than that because Ori yep. comes in and always, says, no, 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 this, this takes like eight panels to tell this one thing. Okay, we need to... 
<laughs> and then sometimes it gets even longer than that because uh, then Ori starts drawing the thing. Why? Later. Install now. Ugh. Pop up go I hope away. you aren't having tech troubles too. No, it's just the stream deck is like, hey, you wanna you wanna install? No. Not now, stream Not now. deck. Not now, my stream deck. Sly like, Senpai, pay attention to me. Yeah, really. Now. Okay. Ooh, that could well, be very fun. Hey, I've given puff. up the hunt for the other flash drive. I'm I have certainly certain thought about it'll that. come back once I'm no longer looking for yep, it. That's so that's fun. Uh, in the meantime, I yes. will share my screen. Uh, we can get the okay. Mars feed, guys, as I drink um, water and eat a chocolate bunny. Ooh, yes, yummy. Shit, I forgot I have chocolate bunny. Damn it, now I want chocolate bunny. Chocolate bunny is good. Aww. The oh. bow tie was chocolated on. Aww. Ah. Oh, no. And yes, I am using a reference to figure out his tail. <laughs> Never be ashamed of your references, guys. They are here to help you. Mm-hmm. Like, figuring out if this is supposed to be curvy or not. Yeah, I tried to work. take a bite and my Easter Bunny exploded. How? Um, I'll explain in a second. Hmm. How does one's Easter Bunny explode. Carl can be a mouse. Morgan's a rat. You could have mm. Maya be a little hamster. Oh yeah. And Mia can be a chinchilla. Done. But yes. Why a chinchilla? I don't know. She's pretty with a lot of personality. Hmm. Um, I don't know if chinchilla is the first animal I think of when describing Mia. We're going for Trying rodents. Think. Pick a rodent. Hmm. Okay, if we're going for rodents, let me see. Squirrel. Nah, too basic. Groundhog. It's it's got to be it's got to be something wild for sure. Definitely gotta be wild. Yes, Lakitu. Technically, collars can't be domestic versions of animals. Yes. That is a big point. But that is a technicality. <laughs> Me is a chinchilla because she dies really easily. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> yes, it worked. Poor Mia. But yes, birthday cake. So Mars, the way my bunny exploded is that you know they're hollow, but the ears and like part of the head is solid. Uh -huh. And I bit into the part of the head that was solid, but apparently bit too far and bit some of the part that was hollow, so it kind of like collapsed, exploded oh. on itself. And I, <laughs> suddenly there was chocolate pieces all over me, and I was like, oh my god! Oh, I forgot. I can't do this. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> Is Phoenix a capybara? No, Phoenix would be a bird. What bird gives Phoenix is Phoenix not bird? as chill as a capybara, guys. No. Phoenix has no chill. Have you seen capybaras? They just hang out. They have all the time uh, in the world. They're never bothered. Repeller. That is not Phoenix. I'm sorry. I I have I got to no, shut Phoenix that is one very down. Bothered. Phoenix Phoenix is not chill, you guys. What's a bird that's very bothered? Pheasant. Eh, but it doesn't give mm, it doesn't give the sarcastic Phoenix vibes. It's, you know. Okay, we need a sarcastic. Oh, thank bird. you for the cookies. Ah, thanks for baking. Eeny would be can't be part. 
<laughs> uh, I, oh, I, well, and the biscuits. Eenie is technically dead, so yeah, she the has Phoenix the most would be a peacock. Chill. Hmm. Would Phoenix be a peacock? I don't feel like he flaunts enough. I don't think Phoenix he's showy be enough yeah. for that. I don't think he's showy okay, enough to so be a peacock. It doesn't go on that. It goes on the fin. Got it. Um. So that's one. Hummingbird. Two, He's um, kind of flitty. A stressed parakeet. Yeah, it gives me, he. I feel like he's definitely got to be one of the one of the birds that can like. They have a lot he, of. He's got to be a bird that the, uh, like like the out. parakeets or the budgies. Like all of those birds yeah. have like a lot of personality, like stuck inside. Maybe their little Maya bodies. would be a budgie. I could see that. Gant would be a lion. Gant would be a lion. <laughs> hmm. I, could I don't want to give him the satisfaction of making him a lion, though. I feel like he's too sly for that. I don't find lions to be sly. And lions are kind of lazy, you know? Mm. I don't feel like he's sly enough. My heart goes coyote, but he's not that trickstery. Do he's we want to say sly like hair. a fox? <laughs> Could be a fox. Ooh, that'd be fun. Make Edgeworth a fox because he's not a dog and he's not a cat, right? Like, mm. I mean, they're technically canids, but they act somewhere in the middle, right? And that makes him not a Von Karma, but he has still got the kind of vibe. And then you can make Manfred. Manfred has to be a palace cat because they're the grumpiest cat. Like oh, cat. like a Persian cat? It, so they're called a, they're a wild cat. They're called the palace cat, and they're literally known oh. to be the world's grumpiest cat. They they just kind of sit on their tail with their paws. It's very funny. And That's then you can hilarious. Make, yeah, they are crazy. And then you can make uh, Francisca could be then like a bobcat. Yes. That, oh, she fits that perfectly. So they're kind of those vibes. What would Yanni Yogi be? Yanny Yogi. Scraggly. What's like a scraggly. A muskrat. He gives muskrat. Mm. Muskrat is good. It's got the water in it. They look like they're trying you know, they to swim. I definitely see a muskrat. But they're kind of yeah. kind of scruggly. Scruggly. Scruggly, scraggly. Yeah. Excuse me. Definitely. Oh, you are, you are skewzied. Thank you. But that's the vibe. Larry is a meerkat? I can see it. Mm -hmm. I can see Larry is a meerkat. That checks out. They they're very annoying. <laughs> Armando or Godot? Sorry, Larry. What would Armando be? What would Godot be? Armando. He's gotta have the suave, right? Suave. But kind of full of himself a little bit. A little touchy. Hmm. Definitely he has his pride. I mean, you could make... See, see. Armando could be a lion. I, I could, could see definitely that. see that. I could see that. Yes, the, the, the color is a furry thing. Come on, Enthuse. Just Enthuse is this just because Godot calls her a, fi a wild filly or whatever the heck? <laughs> Come on, be original. We can be more creative than that, guys. Come on. Yes. <laughs> I have faith in By our chat. By those standards, Enthuse, Maya would have to be some... Uh, I'm sorry, Mia would have to be some sort of cat. Mmm. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes. <laughs> I love the timing was so good. <laughs> Mia would have to be some kind of cat. What do you it has mean? to be a cat. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I heard woohoo. I didn't hear what oh, he Oh, he says, what do you mean? <laughs> That's what he said. He didn't catch that. I thought he said woohoo. Yeah, I know. 
Which just made it funnier. It's all very funny. <sighs> Guys, look at this Senate tale. Look at the boy. And look I am really impressed at even more. how quickly I've banged this out. Like, holy shit, you guys. This never happens. Enthuse, is your only ship Sinnet and Hotsen? I'm just so curious. It isn't the Sinnet. Huh? Drawing so small like that is wild. I mean, I think that works, Pastry Puff. Technically, in the color universe, um, the way that passing down genetics like that doesn't really matter if the parents are very far apart, base animal-wise. So they can, uh, they can definitely be more like their dad. Easily, if their dad was very fishy. Good night, birthday cake. Good luck on your test. Oh, good night. You got it's this. One of your best only ships, luck. Period. Wow, enthused. I mean, I if I'm being works. honest, right. in a way, honored. Lotta is a goose. Yes. Lotta would be a goose. Lotta is Hell a goose. yes. The worst. Annoying, oh frustrating. Honking over everything. Ugh. Honk goose. She is the honk gooseman of she the Ace is the world. honk gooseman. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, we don't like Honk Goose, man. That's for certain. <laughs> Alright, Ori, I will be honest, I am just putting random-ass spots all over him. It doesn't matter that much. Okay. Well, there's the tail. Now it's time for the leggies. <laughs> Cody Hacken's a little Pomeranian. Yeah, because he kind of bites... <laughs> Such a passionate little fella. Mm hmm Okay, this is an interesting... God, there are so many characters, man. Yeah, let's do it like that. It's very interesting when Sinnet sits down and what happens to the space between his stripes. Yeah, that's how that's how skin works. Bye bye perspective. No, I mean that that's how skin works. It would get closer together because it tightens inside the thing. It does. So welcome no, to hello, Anatomy One Hundred and One. You're doing perspective, Mars. I suppose I am. Whoops, that's not the color I wanted. That's still not the color I wanted. What the fuck? There we go. Now that actually looks like part of his leg because it's not stick straight. Yeah. The Marshalls is horses. Yeah. I think Jake Marshall ha Mar Marshall 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 has to be Marshall. like um Jake Marcel like like uh like what spirit is and then uh Neil is like an Appaloosan Oh fuck yeah That's just such the vibe that is hella the vibe <laughs> Okay, Senate. The what noisiest and most talkative is? animal for Wendy sure Bag. The noisy. What animal do I find the most annoying, sound-wise? Mm. What what animal never shuts up? Birds. Yeah, but in general. Emma's not not really bird? in general. I'm I'm specifically thinking like parrot, parakeet. But I know we already kind of decided on that. I feel like they have too much, like, other sass for her. Then, you know, she doesn't really have, like, sass. Okay. Fair enough. I can see that. You know, she's kind of just, like, angry. Annoyed. Mm. What animal is very annoyed? Classically. 
isn't there an animal that constantly looks pissed off all the time? There's a lot of animals that constantly look pissed off. <laughs> Guys, look at Sinnet. Yes, specifically He's the hanging with Aster. Yeah, look, that was the start of the night, and this is the end of the night. Yep, from beginning to end. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, I can finally merge these layers. Thank God. Up, 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 nope, too far. C flat. Okay, I think the only panel I have left is the big group one. Yep, I actually started on Cinna in that panel. Perfect. Look at Sinnet's babe. I love, I love when the characters have like slightly, you know, they they all have like faces that they make very frequently, like Hotsun being scared, you know, Sinnet kind of just being sweet. Uh, but then when he has these moments where it's like, no, 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 he's he's he's, he's, he's brothers like, with these guys. He's being a little shit right now. Yeah, yeah. It's so good. Good night, Enthuse. Good luck with your homework. Night, Enthuse. Best of luck. What time is it? Okay, Earl earlier than I it's thought, which is 9 good. 9.52. That, that's good for it's... my time. For for the first hour stream, I was making materials for tomorrow. Yes. And then I was searching for a flash drive, and now I'm actually doing the comic. Hallelujah. Yeah. Mars has a deadline. I do have a deadline, but I am confident that I can finish this. Good. I've actually been banging them out a lot faster than usual so i think i'm this just is, i'm in the this zone this is very true pastry puff but <laughs> you could make him I a think flightless also, bird instead that could be i think funny. this is also because ori gave me clearance to like you don't have to be perfect i'll touch it up i just want it colored i was like yeah. base let's yeah. go that's definitely the level we're in right now where it's just like i need i need to file like we go and we if go. If it was and... easier to start on the background before you were done, I would, but it's not. <laughs> and it, that's the problem. No, that would just be so much more complicated. It's so much more work, yeah. But that's okay. We make it work. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. Look at that guy's hair already colored in. Ron gives needy puppy vibes. Oh, a hundred percent. Desiree gives Ron. He's not a husky. Huskies are very loud and dramatic. The old drama bag is a husky. Old bag might be a husky then. <laughs> the dramatics that they have. Oh my god. A palm <laughs> ski specifically. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, at me. Oh. At me gives ferret. Hmm. He really does, doesn't he? You play D and D solo? How do you do that? How do you do that? Doesn't it kind of go against the idea of D and D? Yeah. How does that? How does that work? Who's the dungeon master? Unless it's like one of those book campaigns where you like follow along the story. I'm just so I don't curious. Know, I, I think I've heard of those. I feel like those exist. Also, I can't imagine having no Wi-Fi at all. I want to talk to people. <laughs> no Wi-Fi would be torturous. Like, it's not... I don't even want to necessarily... I just want to be able to, like, talk to other people, you know? I love my family. They're great. But sometimes I want to say hi to Mars. I want to say hi to, you know, you guys. Vary it up every now and then. You exactly. know? Exactly. Whoops. That was not what I meant to do. Okay. We're just going to make this hand on the same layer as the face. Because it is on top. So that actually works out very well. Look at this guy's strategy. 
you both play or, and DM your dice as the chaos factor and use it for yes or no questions. Interesting. Huh. I think I have heard of that version of D&D. What would on guard be? What's what's two-faced? Hmm, an animal that's two-faced? I mean, bat. I def it gives bat bat vibes. I possum. was leaning towards snake. Possum. The Virginia possum. Mm. The Virginia possum is specifically friend from the front, demon from the side. Oh, that's too perfect, then. <laughs> uh... I feel like Matt on guard would be the Virginia possum. I mean, he was just playing dumb, so yeah, I I could totally see that. Well, okay, am I gonna have to find the possum meme? Okay, I think that line was supposed to be a blank possum. space. Just leave it as such. Okay, there's a whole Reddit. Subreddit for possum memes. <laughs> How interesting. There is a Reddit for everything. There's a Reddit for everything. Like, if you can think of it, there's a Reddit for it. I definitely don't think it's writing a book with extra steps, but it's definitely like a very different experience. Well, with the comic? No, like a solo D and D. Oh, oh, oh. I mean the the dynamic with other characters would be different for sure. Yeah. Okay, I found it. You found the possum Reddit. I found the possum meme. I believe it is on the possum reddit. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, possums are great because depending on how you look at them, they're either horrible things or just soft fluffy dudes with with love instead of brain cells. Hor side view, horrible. Front view, full of love. And then you have you have images to back it up. Side view, <laughs> horrible. Front view, full of love. This gives See, such, that, such That's how you know vibes. it's true. They provide evidence. It gives such unguard vibes. <laughs> that really does. I I didn't know if I agreed with that assessment right away, but I I see it now. It makes Portsman is a cheetah. Portsman is a cheetah because he's good at one thing, and that's sports. And cheetahs are good at one thing, and that's running. And they're not that great at it. And it doesn't feel like Portsman is that great at sports. I feel like Portsman definitely. Trumps himself up. Yeah, like, he's oh, got 100%. that basketball hoop for show 90% of the time. <laughs> no, I think sadly it's confirmed that he's at least decent because nobody wanted to play with him. Mm. Isn't that what happened? Except his gym, bro. Yeah. Oh, Jim. Who was Every time even I gym. say Jim, I, th I think of Jim Hawkins from Treasure Same. Planet. Okay, this is really wild, you guys. I don't know why this is happening. I'm certainly not complaining. For some reason on Instagram, I am getting so much Treasure Planet fan art. Oh. I don't know how is it or why this happened. an anniversary or something? Got me. I'm not sure. But I'm just like, wow, these are some really nice Jim Hawkins. <laughs> like, these yeah. are really damn good. Why'd you make him look so nice? He he always looked nice. I know he does, yeah. but that was like Disney nice. This is artist nice. Yeah. Uh, There's a different story. That's what pains me so doubly much about One Piece. Uh. It's just it, like it was uh, funny. Okay. Ori was telling me about her uh, her fairy tale uh, uh, yes. binge earlier today. And the reason you said One Piece, which reminded me of it, is I know you can't stand One Piece. Like, story of One Piece? Great! Art style of One Piece? Ugh, leaves can't a lot deal. to be desired. And we were talking about a character from fairy tale today, uh, Juvia. And Juvia. my immediate thoughts, 
thought was, ah, it's the opposite One Piece. Love the art design, hate the character, hate the writing. <laughs> like, she's my opposite One Piece. Uh, that tangent, but that's what re it reminded me yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel like... Like, Fairy why Tail... is her design so good, but she's a horrible character? Yeah, she's she's a, she's a nothing burger that they try to make a something burger, and she it, she's she, a nothing burger that they gave a really good design to, yeah. and it makes me mad. Isn't that the name of the cop from Stranger Things? The cop from Stranger Things. His name is not Buddy Fate. His name is um something with an H, isn't it? I've never watched Stranger Things Fuck. to be honest. It's something with an H. Yeah, Will Powers no is the lion. Will Powers is the lion. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, Will Powers, hands down. Is saying, is he the lion, lion or a big teddy bear? I think lion. I think the like Hawkins. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, Hawkins. Jim Hawkins, and we've come full circle. Yeah. <laughs> you do choose a good time to turn your ears on dichotomy. We're talking about <laughs> fairy tale. And this yes. one character, that whole personality is she's in love with one of the main <laughs> secondary characters, and that's literally it. But she looks real cool! Why did they give her such a good design when she's such a nothing character? It makes me so angry! Well, alright then, it... indeed. It, it's like a slight. Like, I can't cosplay you. I love your design, but I hate you as a character. When when they <laughs> I first... I cosplay your cool outfit. When they first introduced her, I definitely was just like, I don't... I Like, I hope this character is done and, like, we don't really get, you know, much more of her. And then she keeps coming up. And I, at this point, I've just accepted that she exists. But it's very much just like, why are you constantly, like, part of the main group? You're, you're not, though. Like, you know, you're, you're not. You're not. You're part though. of fairy tale, but you're not. You're you're not the no, five man band. Penny. I'm sorry, you're so tired. Oh, Penny condolences. I, Penny Nichols and Owl. I could see it. I could see that. Is it because of the glasses? It's because. <laughs> I gotta ask, guys. Toko Fukua. I don't know who that is. I need to look this up. Fukua? Oh, she's a Danganronpa character, and she's got cool braids and a lot of books. Ah. She does look pretty cool. I have no idea about her character, though. It's just the worst when a character has a good design, but terrible writing. Like, how dare you? How dare you be written horribly? <laughs> this whole thing is pants. Okay, you know what's really funny? What? I'm gonna bring it all the way back around to character design and stuff. Well, I think that I could feasibly draw the outcast characters in the similar way that I've drawn the Ace Attorney characters very like um, lazily and quickly mm -hmm. I feel like the biggest thing stopping me is I care too much about the outcast boys and this mm -hmm. is what happens whenever I make like that little animation shorts of them is that it's just like I I want to make them the best that they can be, right? <laughs> and so every time that it's like going, it's like, no, but like, I know how they should look. I can make it better. Versus with Phoenix, where it's like, yeah, Phoenix, but eh, it kind of it looks it up like Phoenix, you know? Well, I like Phoenix. It's I don't like care he, for him. He can pass. I don't care for him as much as my characters. And then it is also mm. probably one of those things where it's like. Well, you do have personal attachment to these characters. Oh, yeah. But it also probably does have something to do with like. People know Ace Attorney characters, mm. so you can be like, right. "Oh so yeah, there's, there's Phoenix Wright." There. You know, they don't know the Outcast boys, so it's like, "Ooh, I want to make One sure that people will. want to like, like, like them right off the bat, so that they want to know about them." You know, the whole thing. 
Love the design, hate the character. Sounds like Homestuck. Okay, this is the I I this is a problem that I have. And this is that I never I never like read Homestuck. I never like was really I know of the existence of I guess the trolls, right? That's what they are. Trolls. With the horns. Maybe. Right? They have like the orange horns and the gray skin. Right? Like that's what they're called, I think. However, I don't know what is real and what is I'm gonna go with yeah it didn't no I don't think it came up how did you censor it Mason? let me check YouTube oh. why is it being weird for you I'm not sure some random stuff just keeps getting censored for some reason well supposedly they already censored it like you know Mason censored it themselves, so it's just like... Huh. Ah, I found it. I got it. Ah, nice. I brought it into the universe. Oh, she's also canonically transphobic. Well, yeah, she is a whiny bitch. Well. It has appeared now, guys. You can get here. <laughs> a whiny objection! <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Oh, the judge is this walruses or or a moose. The one is a moose. I, I mean, I oh, can Canadian see them both. one definitely. A I moose. can see them both as moose because I all I could think about is the two moose from Brother Bear. Oh, and they give that vibe. Yeah. Don't they? <laughs> they, they really, really that do. Vibe. Okay, what is happening here? What's going on? And also, uh, if one of the judges Canadian, the other judges uh -huh. also Canadian. You know, you know, like if they're brothers. So oh, yeah. I feel like the our judge is just hiding his accent. <laughs> He's trying to be subtle about it. Yeah. I mean, it, if it works, it works. Amazing. And it's knees. Google gives me a lot less control on what I can like personally censor in the chat and not. Mm. It is unfortunate. Yeah, that's you know, such is life. Yep. We work. With YouTube what we shows got. our content to more people, so I, I accept. It's a trade-off. Uh, okay, that is true, Pastry Puff. That is true. You do learn your accent from the children you hang out with, so that could be a possibility. I just, I, I, I canonically want Judge to be Canadian, but secretly, <laughs> secret, secret Canadian. Don't we all? I feel like that's the fun, the fun. Secret Canadian. Secret, Secret accent. Canadian. Secret accent. Through the mountains. Secret accent. Ah! Look at the boy. He's coming together. Yes, he is. Look how he looks so ferrex right now, doesn't he? He really does. And ferrex, though, so it works. Okay, let's slim that down a bit. That's too much. He could he could just be a cat, Beige Puff. Here he wants to be a tiger, but he's not. <laughs> there we go. That's the vibe. That's the look. Interesting okay. dichotomy. Are your are your dad and uncle judges? Hmm? Mmm. I, you know, if it works, it works, Mason. Yeah. If it works, Darn it, it works. The dream of you somehow living in Japanifornia. Crushed, ruined. 
Oh. No. Who would be Not the dream B? of Japanifornia. Hmm. Eh? Eh. Okay. I didn't know Ooh, you were being timed. Me. The Cadaverinus are sharks. I'm not being timed. That sounds about right. I just... Cadaverinus are definitely sharks. Bruto! That's his name! Bruto! Dylan asked me what the grandfather Cadaverini's name was, and it just came to me. Bruto Cadaverini. Oh, I definitely didn't remember that. <laughs> it literally just came to me. Japana Hermia? What? Huh? <laughs> when did we bring Hermes into this? Oh, Mar, you gotta get on Gross gotta Park get on involved. the outcast tapas and read Achilles and the boy next door just for me, okay? Just for me. I that will be how I reward myself after my internship. Okay. I am already trying to catch up with season four of uh, City of Blank, which is really freaking good. I Holy know. Holy shit! Oh, such a good God. story. Where we're at I'm right now, though. Crying. <laughs> I'm not that far yet. I'm still in the beginning of season four. Like literally episode three of season four. <laughs> I I are, finished. We are at three, some crossroads. Maybe a week ago. And oh, oh, I don't doubt it. Rex, my boy, he's coming into his own. He's making his decisions. He's being a person again. Oh, he's just got the dream. Uh, hello, my boy. My child. Why are we talking about STDs? No. <laughs> he Rex deserves good things. I know. He has my been boy. through so much the shit. The poor boy. He's been through so much shit. Okay, that's not an oval eye. Uh. Okay, uh, this is an overlay. This is what sucks so much. It makes every uh, panel take so much longer the second that there's two characters interacting in it instead of just one. Oh, but yeah. I love having like like I love this panel. But I know it it's shows not a the full... of yeah. it. I know it's like not a full hanging out, barracks panel, chill, but they're close. I love this okay. one so much. Senate is done. There he is. Yay! Is Here is the book. You just gotta do okay. Aster now. Yep. But before his I eyes, do that, his eyes look at you. I need content for the Instagram. So, <laughs> undo everything and then redo everything super quickly. Today is International Autism. That, that is how I make those day. time lapses. It's a lot guys. of things today, apparently. Yeah, because if Mars did the actual time lapse, it's all the way zoomed out. It doesn't work at all. Um, if you guys actually go to, I think it's in my saved reels. I did try to post a time lapse once upon a time. And I didn't realize that it would not zoom into the area I was working. It literally just looks like a dot slowly being colored. Barely, yeah. <laughs> That's like the funniest shit. I was like, how did this happen? Why didn't it zoom in? How is everyone else able to get these really pretty shots? And it's because they don't work on a, like, 40,000 long pixel canvas mark. Yeah, that does explain it, doesn't it? And you zoom in to just one, like, 1200 pixel length of thing. <laughs> hey, I, I found a way to make content. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you, you certainly improvised, adapt, and overcame. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I love this little one where Ferex is shoving Milano's face because he poked him. <laughs> I just, it's just great. It's just too good. Okay. Video. Weird, Pager Puff. I'm so That's... sorry it didn't like you. I'm having so much fun animating in, in Clip Studio Paint, having unlimited frames. It's just, ugh. 
my life has just improved greatly. That literally how I'm doing those Ace Attorney ones. If I didn't have that ability, we wouldn't be getting cool little Ace Attorney animations. How does Quip Studio Paint get flecked by animators? I Because it doesn't have the full capability that, like, someone who is an actual, like, wants to be an animator has. Mm. Right? It's like... It's, it's definitely the bare It's definitely bones, an art right? program that went... That specced pretty decently into animation, but it's not the level of even, like, something like Open Tunes that is built specifically for animation. However, I am a baby that hates learning new shit real, real, real bad. And I have to be incredibly fucking motivated to get out of the, like, little little zone that Ori lives in. Good night, Dichotomy. Sleep well. Be more awake tomorrow. Good night, Dichotomy. Hope you're and, feeling uh, okay. Nah, it's just tired. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's just tired, which is vibe. It's tired outside. It's very tired outside. I, I mean, I personally, Robo, I haven't specifically heard of any flack specifically um, of it. But if you're saying there is flack, that's all that I can think about. Because otherwise, I, I hear a lot of praise about how like um, it has like the little layers and the folders and everything in that. Yeah, I know, Mason, right? You're holding on. You're holding out. Holding down the fort. I mean, it's not that late. These people are just dropping like flies. It's Tuesday, my dudes. <laughs> and, uh... That's all that I can assume that it is, Roval. I'm not really certain. Nothing I'm animating in, you know, Clip Studio Paint is anything I'm trying to, like be an animator for right mm. i'm over here being like "Ooh, moving picture fun sometimes i have enough motivation to learn some of the tenets of animation like with the um the pencil short like that that has a lot more effort than like these ace attorney ones and stuff like that but no worries like it too no worries at all Going on a field trip to Barnes and Nobles. Nice. Nice. Uh, pastry puff. We do know that Barnes and Nobles has dungeon meshy in it. It does. Just, just you know. It has lots of dungeon meshy. Just meshi so you know. Lots of meshy. Apparently, just he was watching an iceberg video in regards to Newgrounds Madness series. And apparently Clip Studio Paint gets flack by the community in Madness. Interesting. I don't know. Really? Huh. I don't know why. That's fascinating. Uh, nice. Face Did you read the first one? I know yes, you, I know you, you got think? it. Did you finish it? Oh, so I love it so much. It has, it has influenced my art style a fair amount. It has influenced my everything a fair amount. Pay attention to the feathers, you guys. They might change very soon. Literally, literally, the next time I get to draw, like, Aster's feathers, they will be changed. <laughs> uh, they were already changed in sketches of another avian character that we might draw on stream soon, even though yes! she hasn't come up for a very long time. <laughs> hey, you know us. We gotta plan ahead. We live life in yeah. the fast lane. It would make sense. People are weird like that, Rubble. Vibe pastry puff. Literally, literally, I have a vacation. Usually it's two times a year. This time it's only one time a year just because of job shenanigans. But it is almost always two times a year. That uh, I get to go on like a true vacation. Where it is literally just rest and relaxation and um all of that and what does ori do on that vacation she takes all the books that she hasn't read yet <laughs> and the video game that she hasn't played or finished 
and brings them to that vacation because it's a 12 hour car ride it's one way so there's two ways plus just a really nice chill time so it's like we're reading we're playing games we're doing all this stuff this Ori is because Ori is a superhuman who doesn't get car sick. Uh, that is a lie. Ori's a human that gets very, very fucking car sick, and that's what drugs are for. <laughs> ah, okay, I see. <laughs> Ori never used to get car sick. This, this is how far Ori goes for her books. <laughs> uh, it, 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 it really depends, you know. But yeah, I, I, I can't. It, to me, it's more the electronics. And if I sit in the front seat of the car, it's better. Sitting in the mm. back seat of the car, it's kind of rough. I'm curious. My parents have a new car, which is like a really big car and a really smooth car. So I'm honestly kind of curious to test it out. But I'll probably take the drugs anyway because it is 12 <laughs> fucking hours, you know. Yeah, that's a lot. I'm kind of curious. That's a long time to go without drugs. Dang, that's a lot, Roval. Nice. But also, Pastry Pop, I don't. Uh, the manga is always nice because you, you do get through them faster than like normal books. Mm. Yes, if you're trying to hit a reading goal, reading manga is the way to go. Yeah, you just do get through them fast. You know, just there, there's mathematically less words, you know, per yeah. page. This is how it works. Well, because you don't need the words to do the explaining for you. You got pictures for that. Exactly. The perks of the medium. Wild. What? There's nothing to transform. Yeah, I know. It's because I was on the wrong layer like a dum-dum. Ah. Ori. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. That is very true. Uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a book that I got at 2021 NYC Comic Con that I still haven't read. <laughs> It's a full book, though. It's not like um, a manga, you know, or a comic. So it is like a bit of commitment. And then I have, you know, the next, the first book of the second grouping of the Wings of Fire comic. Ah, yes. So I have that. I have to check Very if amazing. Amulet book, is it nine or ten? I think it's nine, the last one. Is out. I think they're up to nine. I think that's supposed to be the last one. I think Supernova Eight is the one that I that has been left off on for so many years, though. Jesus, it's been so long. Goodness. Oh, I've right. been spoiled by Dungeon Read Meshi. Your books, Mars. When do I have the time? You're watching all this fairy tale. That's what is happening right now. <laughs> and then I have to watch fucking advisor or whatever. And uh, then I Royal have to watch Tudor. Royal Tudor. And then I have to watch Link Click. Okay, like we're getting through it. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I'm going to preview Link Click for you. Well, because yeah, I, think we're, we're I think we are very much in tragic gaze doomed by the narrative story. Okay, yeah, if that happens, then that's off the list. I can't. I can't take it's just so good though. I know, but but I, boys. I can't take I can't take <laughs> the hard the hard endings, okay? I I don't know if it's gonna be a hard end because I know there's a season three that's coming. Ooh. So it's it's gonna end off somewhere that's gonna be a cliffhanger. It's probably gonna feel like tri stamp all over again. See, see, tri stamp levels I'm okay with. Castlevania levels I'm okay with. The sole thing I can't deal with is like edge runner levels, where that's the end, you know, or that's it. I don't think we're reaching that point. Because that's we have not yet reached a definitive end. I think they're up to seven. I only own six, though, Pastry Puff. And I have six, and I've had six. <laughs> and I need to read six. But it's so good. 
and it hurts my heart. The poor boys. Again, it's on the list, but you know, Royal Tutor was told to be like R on high school at the beginning and just good throughout by you. So. Oh yeah. I no, you you will it. have a good time with that one. You will definitely have a good time with that one. Guaranteed. Okay. Why is this not... Did I not draw his finger? I didn't draw his finger. Okay. I didn't do the sketch <laughs> over this here. This Tisk Tisk. I'm just at at this point I am I am going. I am running. I'm off to the races, you guys. Uh how do I do this? Hand brain finger that way. Okay. I'm holding my hand up. <laughs> How it would go. See, guys, use your references. They're very helpful. I will say, guys, one of the most underrated things, I don't hear any other artists talk about this. They always say, like, you know, use your own body. But they tell you to, like, take a picture. And I gotta say, you have, as a human, a really good idea of what your body looks like by just doing a thing. So, well, of course, having a photo reference is the best option. Um, sometimes, when it's very hard to get an angle that you want uh, by just, you know, with only yourself, that I find is a big issue. So just holding up your hand in the way that it is, or even taking a second, getting on the floor, I've done this many a times, and like getting in the position that you want to be, and just sort of thinking about it, taking stock of how your body feels to be in that position you're trying to draw, right? And it's just it's very, very helpful, and I find relatively underrated. It will give you a lot of information Making to work with facial expressions just while you're drawing specifically with the intent of sort of like feeling it out you know it's 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 very helpful and i don't hear anyone talking about it <laughs> quite sad really Okay, some of these sketches, Pastori, I, I don't know what you were doing calling these finished sketches, but okay. We'll work with them. I know the boys well enough. And I know that Pastori probably knew that too. Okay, let's figure out what's going on here. Is our wings... Yeah, that that area is gonna be tough because <laughs> they're folded. I'm I'm gonna do my best. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do my absolute. That's all best. I can ask. I think I'm doing my best. <laughs> when they're folded like that, even I sit there for a moment, being like, okay, and then yeah, and then okay, mm -hmm. and then I have to go back. Like, wait, it's no. like, I, I think I got this. There we go. It's not so bad. Okay. Yeah, figure it out as we go. Pastory, seriously, how how was this a sketch that I was supposed to be able to just line? <laughs> ah. This is not enough information over here. Pastory cutting corners, you guys. Pastory <laughs> always reason. needs to get shit done, and you know we accept it. A little struggle later on is not the end of the world. Exactly. 
You know, because sometimes you just you need the project done in order to move on. Yep. When you get stuck, that's when you're in trouble. Okay, so if I've done this correctly, and I'm pretty sure I have. Here we are. If not, don't worry, we'll tell me. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm just going to fix it, because trying to explain it is just going to take way longer than it's worth. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> Okay, this is apron. Wait. Down here. Okay, oh wow, we got a lot down here. This is definitely a knee, pretty sure. It's a knee. Milano is giving Ferrex a little boop. See, guys? Best of friends. More like annoying siblings. <laughs> I mean, that's also a vibe. That, that To me, they are the broest of literal, like, brothers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is part of the apron. I hope it is. Now, wings. This is... Shoulder, neck, okay. <laughs> and then Ori and Mars just fall silent because they're in deep concentration. Concentrating. Ugh. Figuring out okay. perspective. That's the secret. I threw in my own feathers. <laughs> Dylan, let me out. Let me. <laughs> let me in. Let me in. Oh, how did I miss your arm up there? How did that happen? Okay. Up, 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 up. Secret oh. arm. Secret this hand arm. Needs better. Sitting uncolored. Secret arm. Why the fuck is it this colored in? Damn. Okay. Mars got sloppy. Jesus. What the hell? What would Adrian Andrews be? Hmm. Are we talking about pre-trial Adrian or post-trial? Because yeah, I think they would be game? two different animals. One is timid, the other is building back her confidence. But in the Caller universe, she would always be the same animal. I mean, that's true, but... So what animal can learn difference. confidence? I like a sheep. And the reason for that is, one, the fun implications That's of, haha, ha, she's a sheep, but also they can be real bullheaded, especially like rams. But like, I, I hear about sheeps being like very like, um, you know, they can, they can really have their own personalities, but you obviously hear about sheep being like kind of timid. So I feel like she starts out and she's classically like, haha, ha, a sheep, you know, cause she's dependent and everything. Mm. And then it's like, oh no, but then she comes into her own and she is like a little more confident with herself. And now she's making her own way in the world. Yeah. I don't know. That's, that's, that so would be my her. decision. One of the great character arcs. It was pretty good. I do wish Edgeworth wasn't such a bitch about it though, but you know. He regressed yeah, a little bit there. Yeah, very unfortunate how we got from point A to point B. He was a real, a real bitch for that one. And it kind of sucks because it's like, wow, Edgeworth, what a dick. But also like, thank you for your assistance. You know, like it's kind of like, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's like, thanks, but next time, please. 
How about we don't traumatize the already traumatized person? Thanks. And it was like, it's what we got to get to the truth. And it's like, yeah, but, but not like that. Mm. Not Your like heart's that. in the right place. But it's not in the right... Your head's in the right place, but your heart isn't. There we go. I mean, that's just kind of Edgeworth in a nutshell, I feel. This is true. Uh, we're gonna have to flip it. His head is always in the right place. He's literally well, got logic up there. His head wasn't always in the right place. At one point, he was like, I just... We're, it's to win, you know, mm -hmm. at all costs. That's not a head in the right place. Well, no, I'd, ar I'd argue that's more of a heart not in the right place. Like, his head really? is still working fine. He's still logic in his way through everything. But even his, if it his is goals was that he wasn't logic Yeah, but I think goals have more to do with heart mm. than head. I don't know. I feel like the morality has to have both. Mm, I think it has more to do with heart, personally. See, to me, it's like, okay, Edward's head is in the right place where he's like, yes, I want justice and, and you know, uh, this. But to me, the justice at all costs is heart in the wrong place because justice at the cost of Adrian Andrews, like, mental health, you know, is kind of well, like a, mm, you're not feeling To me, that. head in the right place would be like, okay, I know how to get from point A to point B. Heart in the wrong place is I'm going to traumatize this woman to get from point A to point B. Mm, yeah, see, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking his head is like, is like, I want justice. That is the that is the the thing, right? Mm -hmm. She didn't do it, and then heart in the wrong places. However, it fucking takes. I will show that she didn't do it. Versus, yeah, so that would be heart not in the right place. Past Edgeworth had a head in the wrong place, where it was like, no, my goal is to win, right? at any cost. Uh, and then his heart was also in the wrong place in the, my goal is to win at any cost and thus at any cost, I don't care about anyone else's feelings, right? That's that to me still how sounds I did more it. like heart to me. How is it different? We're gonna have to agree one. to disagree on this one. <laughs> All right. Because head has to do with logic and thinking. If he's still thinking, if I show this evidence even if it's bogus and it gets me the win like that's still him working through a problem and figuring it out the logic is still there even if it's twisted and morally wrong i feel like the the goal itself is part of the head though that's my argument why are these on the same layer i don't know blame past Ari. Past story was two seconds ago. Oh, well. I have fixed it. That's not too far to go back into the past to yell at yourself then. <laughs> I go onto the stream in the past and I and I write a comment at timestamp of before when she didn't add the actual different layer. And you're just sitting there like, uh, okay, I assume that'll make sense later. <laughs> Oh, That's Esther. Secret. So, so many triangle hairs on you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I made him tones. the most complicated boy. There's no question. Definitely. Well, to be fair, we neglected his backstory for the longest time, so he had to get love in one of the departments. I also find that his animal in general is rather bland color-wise. Mm. So, you know... He and and you know just having wings itself is kind of like a a thing. And I also I just didn't want his hair to be just white. I don't know. I didn't mm. like it. Have I watched Hades Town? No, I, I agree. Just white Hades hair would have been like oof. I've seen Hades Town. It's really good. It it seems like it's really good. Very very fun theater experience. Nice. Definitely a blast. See, that's me growling because Ferrix is annoyed. Ah! Let's put this a little less. There we go. 
little more pointy. Perfect. We'll see the soundtrack. That's usually how I get into most musicals. <laughs> is I end up stumble I somehow stumble across like YouTube algorithm is like, hey Ori, you like art? Look at this cool animatic. And it's like, wow, those like that art looks really cool. Let me watch the animatic. And it happens to be related to X musical. Right. And then it's like, ooh, now I want to see more of this artist's like art. And they have done a lot in X musical. And it's like, well, damn, now I suddenly like the music. <laughs> now I want to know the story. Literally, how I got into the Beetlejuice musical, how I got into oh, same. Be More Chill, how I got into Hamilton. I wasn't interested in Hamilton when it first came out. I got into Hamilton because of all the animatics that came out about it. Hello, Kenzie! Hi, um, Kenzie! That's Good how I found you. out about Epic the Musical, was through animatics. Yes. How I found about how oh. I found out about the dream and SMP was through animatics. It's all through like the <laughs> animatics puffed up, and it's just like, damn, the animatics are good. It's like whatever animatic pops up, that's the one Ori sees. It's if it's good, it's good, you know. Yeah. Can't argue if it's good, right? Yep. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's do this four panels, boys. Because it's all just the head. A bunch of easy panels Damn to it. knock out. I will say, I'm very happy that... I think that's middle. It was not. Uh, stupid nose. Why does these look not the same size? Do those look even? Hmm. If you can hang tight for about a minute, I'll be over there I think to check. They're even. It's a very different vibe I've heard Beach Street Pub. Very di the book is very different from the musical. Uh, but yeah, I watched I watched Be More Chill. I like Be More Dear Evan Hansen again got into because of the musicals. Uh the animatics. I such a love-hate relationship with that musical. Yeah. Both my I mom love and I the cried. Music. I love the animatics, but the story is so like like good message, but also it's like how we got here is so fucked up when you think more than two seconds it's about it. It's definitely a wild way to get there, but I will say it runs good on vibes, man. Mm. The like the emotions, like I said, both my mom and I cried. <laughs> it was like, oh boy. Because it, it hits the, like, specific notes, you know, of being, like, yes. in school and everything. And, like, not having, you know, it's like a whole thing. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That is entry Rather nine fully done! Yeah. She did it, guys! She Look got ahead of her deadline! Significantly! Look at it! She can now work Look on 10 it. and struggle because Ori's no. bad. <laughs> Screw you! Why? I'm sorry, it's hard. Why would you do this to me? I, I'm sorry. I just finished. It's, it's difficult. Guys, Ori's just sitting here like, back to the sweatshop, Mars! Yeah, whip! You finished! Now <laughs> back to the sweatshop! <laughs> <laughs> no, come look and tell me if this is even. I think it's even. Yeah, no, Pastry Puff, that's exactly the issue I have. Like, if I could tell her, it's such a good song. I've actually seen that po that, that pong. Like that song. <laughs> I've seen that song put to an Apollo Justice and uh, Clavier. I think that's how you say his yeah. name. Clavier. Which I hate. Clavier. His name is Gavin. It's, <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go with Gavin because I know how to pronounce just that. Just like Edgeworth. But, I hate. um. I, I saw that song put to an Apollo and Gavin animatic, and I was like, true, "Aw, like... this is so cute and sweet. But in the context of the play, oh my god, this is so fucked up. Yeah, it's it's definitely... But, but Also, I don't know if anyone saw the Dear Evan Hansen movie, but it made it all significantly. No, I refuse. Um, no, I would Don't not. ever. Um, oh, this is a song I really like. I like, um... I like Requiem a lot. 
Requiem, Requiem is great. Requiem is really good. And I like I the, um, really anybody have enjoy a map. Anybody have a map? Great opening number. I also really liked Good For You. Like, that that was my Scream It At The Wall song mm. for a while. The one that got me into it, though, was everyone's Adamatics of uh, Sincerely Me, though. <laughs> Definitely. It's just so, the Adamatics is so, so good. It's like, how, how could it not, though? Yeah. Okay, I want to make sure I upload the right thing. Entry 5, page 9, 402. Okay, I'm moving on without Mars, guys. You're moving on without even. me? I'm trying to make them even. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> it's too late. Ah, oh, okay. That's fine, I guess. Why is one thicker than the other one? Okay, we can make it work. No, not that one. This one? No. Yeah, exactly like a two. That's why I'm saying it's it seems to me like more of a change of heart. <laughs> eh, eh. Okay. Oh, is this what you're trying to even out? Yes. Ah, I see. Okay, yeah, no, they they were not even. <laughs> Well, I th it was more the size. I think these sizes are even. Is there a way to copy-paste the squares? Yeah! So you don't have to resize them every time? Yes, I wasn't- I wasn't resizing them. I took one big square and cut it into quarters. Because then oh, that put them in this I position see. easier than trying to have to line them up later. I was using well, fun I tools. Say, I, I definitely appreciate the, uh, characters together but in separate panels so that that's nice. yeah um if there's i'm gonna tell you there is definitely wonky overlap shit going on ignore it and i'll deal with it okay just color okay. them and then i'll fix who should be on top of who where <laughs> because who should be on top of who well, like there's a panel where it's like milano's behind everyone but his arms come in front of them, you know. So it's like I got. Oh, erase. I can do that. I've done stuff it's, it's like that before. It's more just like before. there's lines that I have to erase. So like, just do I the panel. See. But when you put them all together, it might be wrong. If that makes sense. I see. So what just you ignore mean. that. Hello, no. Well, I'm a, about to open it up and see what you have for me. Yep. Oh yeah, the OSP podcast. I haven't listened to them in a, like in a while, but I, I do, really I do like, like the them. Tale. And I love. I I do keep up with Red's uh, webcomic Aurora. That means a lot to me. I really, 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 really want to draw fast. That that needs to be a thing I gotta do. <laughs> All the songs feel better. Out oh of context. crap! Uh, heads yeah, up, Ori. First, uh -oh. first Senate panel. I forgot to put dots on his legs. Oh, it's okay. Again, I'll, I'll fix it all. <laughs> <laughs> Just a heads up. Oh, look! Guys, there it is. Mars, there it is. The huh? feathers have already taken over. Oh, my God. Look They're at right those there. feathers. They're right there. Inspired by Dungeon Meshi. He's already <laughs> got them Wait feathers. Wait until we get to the actual game, page. Or he will only be more frustrated by it. It's so funny. Every time I'm I type curious. out, does everyone in game refer to him as Clavier or Gavin? I'm a, okay. Like, this, what, don't what's say the general... anything. I'm not looking at chat. I'm going to say this is my guess that most of them refer to him as a Gavin, and this is why. The reason why is because we call Edgeworth Edgeworth constantly, always, mm. all the time. We never, ever, ever call him Miles. True. Right? The only prosecutor we call by their first name is Francisca, and I think it's specifically because we have Von Karma, the father, right? Mm. So I'm assuming in my head that we will call him Gavin. And this is one of those things I always think about. I was like, why do we call him? It's Phoenix and Edgeworth. We don't say Wright and Edgeworth. We say Phoenix and Edgeworth. We don't say Phoenix and Miles. Like, it's weird to say Phoenix and Miles in a way. Like, it, it doesn't it come off the tongue weird. anyway. But it's like very odd. But so my heart is like it's Apollo and Gavin, right? And I know there's another Gavin, and I don't want to think about that too much. Like, I'm not... We're just... This is how it goes for me. 
Prosecutor Gavin. See? They refer to him as Prosecutor Gavin. I win. I got it right. Prosecutor Gavin. Done. Locked and loaded. Miles Morales. <laughs> okay, I no. see one. Miles I see two. Edgeworth. But oh, yes, okay. we got the some dungeon panels here. Messy feather. The dungeon meshy <laughs> feathers. Okay, I gotta say, the boys look good. Oh, uh, gotta be honest, I thought this would be a lot worse. It's 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 there's a couple. Oh, that, okay, that one's a little. A there's little like three much. that are like all of them in one panel, <laughs> and that's the rough part. I I think I just passed that one. It's this one, right? There's that one, and there's one at the beginning where they're all in it, but I don't think they're on top of each other. And then there's okay. one more where they're like where uh, Mulatto has his like arms around everybody. I think it's the one after that. Yeah, I think I just saw it. Those are the it's... big ones. This one. Yeah. Miles okay. morality. <laughs> you know that it it could have yeah, been there's worse. There's more than one Gavin. Yeah, I know about that. I just uh, you know just you don't think about it. We'll cross that bridge to the turnabout when we get there. <laughs> hey. Heck. Heck. Okay, you know Heck. what we're gonna do? Secret weapon. Magic. Secret weapon. Secret weapon. It's wild. I can really see that, like, I drew the sketches for these way before I drew the sketches for these. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, guys. Oh. When you have to draw every day, or when you do draw every day, maybe you don't necessarily get better because, you know, practice makes permanent, not perfect if you're not practicing the right way. But you do change, and it's wild. I'm happy with my changes, art, art-wise. But it's very wild to be like, wow. Looking back. What a difference. What a difference indeed. I've already messed up. Ugh. I've been slowly working through this big one on the Milano's in my sketchbook, but I just haven't gotten through it yet. So my strategy with this one, do all the easy panels first, and then when I get to the big panels, I'm just going to stick to doing one character per, so I don't drive yeah. myself crazy. But remember, Mars, the thing that was driving me crazy is that your section was connected to the part I'm working on originally. Mm. <laughs> That's why I was going really insane. <laughs> Slowly dying. It, it, yeah, Pastry Puff. And that's why I thought his name, like his first name was Gavin oh. for so long. Because it is really just a first name. I don't think any other character has such a first name, last name. Maybe April, Gavin. May. Happy but you or never Xavier called Gavin. her just you you said miss may you never called her april no definitely didn't but also april as a first name is 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 fine clavier i i just i i hate it's an instrument i one it's an instrument and two i just want to say javier because that's a that's a name <laughs> right like that's a name Lavier is not such a name. a specific problem to have. <laughs> it makes me pay. That's a really specific problem <laughs> to have. I want to say Javier, but it's not Javier. It's Lavier. And it's just like, ugh. Bleh. I never knew the name offended you so. It's like, well, I don't... It's, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset. Mori's like, this name hurts. It's me. not a name. It kicked my dog. Mars, Mars, it burned Mars. my house. It doesn't pass the yell test or the scream test or whatever. It doesn't? Try it. Mm. 
how do I do this without getting yelled at? <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. Clavier! It's so bad. <laughs> uh, versus Gavin! That's way better. <laughs> yeah, he's named that. He's named Piano and it hurts me. Yes, it does, Maestro Flop. It hurts me so bad. <laughs> Because Again, Pastry like... Puff, this name Ugh. insulted Ori's ancestors, it kicked her dog, it burned down her house. I ate it so much. <laughs> I don't think there's a single name in the entirety of Ace Attorney that I hate so much. Is his oh. brother named something stupid too? Ugh. I'm trying to remember. It's Clavier. No, and... his name is the. See, this makes it worse. <laughs> this makes it worse. What? Well, what is the dude's name? His this name is, is normal. Like... This is like that family that named their first that whose last name was Air and named their first child Billion mm. to be Billion Air. Yeah, and that was then dumb. I guess came to their fucking senses by the second child and named her something normal, like Samantha. And it's Probably just like the poor kid got bullied yeah, so much. But what's the sad part is, is that Clavier, to my knowledge, is the younger brother, so it doesn't work that way. <laughs> so you're saying that like the parents yeah. didn't learn Christoph their lesson. Kristoff is so much better. And if they wanted them to both be K's, they could have done literally anything else. Just Javier is right there. Javier. It's so easy. Uh, because it's also like... I don't say the word when you talk about it for an instrument the same way I say it as a name. Mm -hmm. And it's bad. And I hate it. Well, I feel like, like you're penis. gonna have to say it a lot. Yeah, I so... have to be Apollo. No, he's gonna call it. You're him gonna Gavin. have to get be... used. No, no, to it's it. Gavin. They say Gavin most ninety percent of the time. Yeah, okay, they but really people did ship Pistupa. Apollo and Clavier. So... No, they ship Apollo and Gavin, and that's what I'm okay with. Prosecutor Gavin. <laughs> We're good. You are sitting here like Delulu is the Salulu. Yeah, Delulu is the Salulu, Mars. <laughs> Mars, Mars, I literally have edited an entire episode, uh, an entire stream of Turnabout Big Top, and like three episodes of the stream is us just trying to delude ourselves into that. Max didn't really propose to Regina. It's not as bad as we think it is. The copium and like the last episode. Copium. The last episode is ends ends with Dylan going something along the lines of my copium tanks have run down a fuse, and then it cuts off. <laughs> it's so bad. That's, that's amazing. Clav? See, no, oh, it doesn't make me feel better. Like, she, she Both of those the, names are the gross card in my throat. Because how do I say it? Do I say Clav, short for Clavier? Or do I say Clav, like Gavin? See, oh, that's what makes it worse, too. Right? It's the same letters together, but different, but really different. Because English is stupid. So you have Gavin. But you have Clavier. I'm pretty sure the character is supposed to be German. Clavicle. Me, yeah, exactly. Correct me right. if I'm wrong, but... I don't know. Is he German? Don't... Uh, we can't have Dylan doing another German accent, guys. He's only got a few of them. <laughs> you can't force Dylan to make another one. I feel like he's not German, but okay. Kristoff sounds, you know, like like Danish. Maybe. He does have a German accent. Oh no! Uh oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> poor, poor Dylan. <laughs> uh... you, you're 
you better warn him ahead of time. He's gonna have to come no, up with we'll another. No, we'll make them both Russian instead. German. We'll we'll change it. We'll give him a different Slav. We'll give him a Slavic language instead. We'll make them both <laughs> Russian. We could do it. Dylan was gonna make Franziska Russian until it was literally confirmed that she was raised in Germany. Why are all the prosecutors uh -huh. from fucking Germany, guys? <laughs> Why the fuck? That's a good question. Why can't they learn the law in America where the law came from? And I'm not saying well, law in general. I'm saying like like that like it started over there and then like other places adopted it. You know, like I don't know. <laughs> yeah, only uh, America is the only place with law lies. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> No, our judicial system was just very iconic and Must influenced many other judicial to, systems. To get so much clout because Germany Especially in the Germany video game world. Well, it can't it can't be straight up Germany, right? If we have Japanifornia, it can't be straight up Germany. So we'll say it's like Germerica, right? I was going to say Jerusha. Mm. We could do Jerusha, and then the Russian accent works. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a melting pot. Okay. First panel so of Entry 10. Why'd they pick Done. Germany? When is the next Why not panel flip it do? and they go back to Japan? Right? Like, I feel like that would have been the way to do it. Right? Oh, oh, oh. We need the place to be America. And it was originally Japan, but now the place that was America when it was Japan can't also be America. So just make it Japan. Like I, I don't know. This is a... yeah, exactly. Pastry puff. Why? <laughs> Poor Ori is just dying over here. It's just ridiculous. But I gotta say, I gotta say, Kristoff, especially with a K, and. Clavier. Oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> it hurts me every time I say I don't I don't or, like it. Oh. I don't like it so much. I'm not as not <laughs> it's just the name Ori. <laughs> Names are important. That's why we sit there and talk about how to name your characters for so long. I I do agree. I do agree. It's just so bad. He looks so good and it's just so bad. Bad. I wanted his name to be Gavin. I had, I had, I thought his name was just Gavin, and like it is, but it isn't, you know. And it was just so mm. bad, and it's just like my my you, hopes, you got dreams crushed, right? Ugh. And and then to That's go on, the and they just give him just a, 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 a horrific name. He doesn't, doesn't he know how to play piano? Isn't he a guitar guy? Aren't there like eighty bajillion fucking guitar names he could have been named? There's so many iconic guitar names that are way better than Clavier. Blech. It's just the, all the all the letters are wrong together. I can't think of another word that sounds good like that. That has the ah noise with the ah in it, right? Because Cla clavicle. clavicle. It's a, ah. Yeah, nobody says that. Clavicle. <laughs> It's like I'm gonna wretch. It's so bad. He never plays a single fucking piano. Face your puff is his game. Worse. You are dashing every single one of Ori's hopes and dreams for this man. Because at one point it's like, ooh, the pun. But then it's like, fuck, he doesn't even play the piano. He plays the fucking guitar. It's like 80 fucking guitar. Iconic guitar. Iconic guitar brands. Could have been so many other things. Literally, fucking Taylor. Could have been like, uh, you know. I'm easy. sorry, Taylor the prosecutor. Taylor Gavin, and it's prosecutor Gavin Jackson. Martin. <laughs> so many <laughs> th better that things. Was so well timed. <laughs> what? What was so well timed? His laugh in the background. <laughs> <laughs> He's not paying attention to me at all. It will oh, not I know. affect. That's what makes it'll... it even funnier. Page I, I, I am confident to say 
that the that it will not affect my opinion of the character itself. What will majority affect the opinion of the character himself? That is not the game itself is Dylan's portrayal of him. Okay? It's like number one, game actual text. Number two, how the character is played. And obviously he's the main prosecutor. It's going to be Dylan. That's just... That's the formula we have. I'm very excited to give Dylan his outfit because again, he looks really good, but I hate the name. <sighs> Did you get it out of your system? Yeah, it'll still happen when we actually meet him. Oh, I don't doubt that. <laughs> Just like we rant about Lada every time, or we'll rant that is about true. Clavier. It's just, it's just, it... None of the letters do I want to say like that. I can't think of another fucking name. Like, anything. Any word. I, I challenge everybody in this room. To, it doesn't even have to be a K. It can be a C. But a C-L-A-V word that is with the ah uh, noise. Or not even, the like, like just any, like, A-V hard consonant, right? Because a G is like a G. Like, that's like a harder consonant, right? So hmm. it's just like... But that has, like, well, the A-V. K and G are both made in the like, same place. Yeah, the only that's what I'm saying. G, K. Yeah, the only okay. difference is the voicing. Yeah. So, so it, it has to be a K or a G noise. Unless, is there another letter that is in the same area? Uh, no. Those are okay. your two... They're, they're in pairs. Not the glottals. Those, those are your back sounds. That's as okay. far back as your tongue will basically go. Yeah, I, <laughs> thankfully I'm not patriarchal because I am still lining. But yeah, it's a vibe. But if you pay attention to your tongue placement, <laughs> guh, they're both made exactly the same. The they only are. difference is whether your vocal folds are guh. vibrating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's like b and v, right? Aren't uh, the no, b uh, and p are. Huh. Okay, uh, that's what it was. Opposites is it of v each and other. T? No, it's v and f. and s. Oh, yeah, that makes no, sense. Yeah, v because v is made uh, with your teeth your, on, on your, your lip, lips. and so is mm, F. Makes sense. Yeah, so then it's T and trick. S with a S and T. Nope, it's T and D. But those are all made with your teeth, aren't they? Isn't S with your teeth, too? S no, S... S is more so made with your tongue on your alveolar ridge. Oh, uh, yeah. If I'm remembering correctly. But I can't um, do it with my mouth open, though. S well, your mouth isn't open. Your your teeth should be yeah, but kind of so gripped. the teeth are involved. Yeah, but technically yeah. you're you're not. Yeah. So so you have your so labiodental sounds, and then you have your. I believe they're called inter not inter. Of course, Mason. Some, please ask like away. That? What is the opposite of s then? It's definitely not lingodental. That's not. What's the opposite of what? S. 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 Z. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. They're Duh. both made the same. Duh. The only difference is the voicing. Duh. I feel like D and I... T aren't as similar as the other ones, though. D, D and T are uh, the the inverse of each other, essentially. Yeah, I get it. But I They're... feel like I don't put my mouth in exactly the same spot. But maybe I'm overthinking it and now I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> it, it's definitely not perfect. Duh. Like, there are definitely... Duh. Like, like I feel like different D ways is you more can produce something. The, like, it's just S like place. on average, most people produce their makes sense sounds in that position. Yeah, a hundred percent pastry puff, definitely. Definitely think about names for your character. I just it just fails at so many so many ends. Well, guys, you know how to name a character that'll get Ori's vote. Don't name it Clavier. <laughs> You know what you want to happen in the scene, but you don't know exactly how to frame each of the panels. It's grinding your progress to a halt. Have ah. you... Have you tried thumbnailing just in general? Just like a general idea, right? Like, um, so usually the process that I do is I take the script and then I write, like, the panels that I think would happen. Just a general idea. And then, um... Hello, MP. <laughs> and then um, I am P. I uh, I take that information and, and kind of go off it loosely. It's definitely not like a one to one because I am I do change a lot of it. But 
the best way is like I put the panel and then I like really quick like like um let's see I can show sort of uh the roughness uh there are some good rough ones okay all of these are not the panels I want there we are so these are literally like the thumbnails right I like to use colors because I have a lot of characters, so when I move them together, it's easy to tell who is the difference. You know, Hudson's purple. But so it's very rough. It's like, okay, I wanted this frame, and then, you know, on his back, looking down at him, and then I wanted this. And so you can do that, and because they're quick, you can do a bunch of different ones, right? So it has the two characters, general movement, and this sort of thing. And it just kind of feels out how you want the framing to go. And I would try to like you know you do one and just try to get one on the paper right and then you sort of be like mm, do you like it do you not like it and then you can refine what you like about it what you don't and then just kind of go from you. there <sighs> yes I'm screaming about Clavier <laughs> name it's so bad I hate it so much it's just... I, I think what also upsets me is it's like they obviously went for the pun, right? They had two criteria. Starts with a K and pun, right? Because it's a piano and he's a music guy. But he doesn't even play the piano. There's tons of other K names it could have been. And it just sounds bad. Guys, I think this is the first time I've drawn Milano in over a year. <laughs> I know, he's so long. Been gone. But I also for don't ages. I don't say the piano word the same. What is the piano word you referencing? It's so so a, a, a clavier is how you say piano in German. That's the German word for piano. Right? Oh. But when I would hear about it it's like like a like a clavier 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 like like that's not clavier it's like how did how did can you pronounce it clavier 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 it's german clavier 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 like clavier ugh there's too much throat noises going on. Maybe it's just me being an English speaker, but there's too much of the throat noises, and I'm not a fan. <laughs> I literally solely searched up Clavier, right? And, um... He pops up. Oh my god. And the first image is him. He's he looks iconic. so good. He looks so good. And then he just has such a shitty name. It's just so well, bad. That's how I feel about Juvia. She has such yeah, a good design, fun name. Her personality sucks. The, okay, MP, I agree so, on all of this. So all we're all fronts. suffering. Yes, I mean, the glasses, MP. Just make it top tier. We are all suffering in our own ways. Slash sketch out the panels before I sit down to draw the panels the pages um mm -hmm. great so question basically the steps at this point in my abilities go mars writes the script i look at the script i read through the script and i basically i write down what i'm imagining at the time when i'm reading the script so i write that you know so if it's like oh yes you know um i, I didn't you know, I didn't ask to be here. I, you know, I didn't want to have to put my faith in a bunch of... So what I'm thinking when I'm reading that about what I know about the scene and everything, that's what I'm writing down. Like, okay, like at this point, and then, you know, that point, I want him to cover his mouth. But then I want it to really focus on him covering his mouth again. So we really have like a second moment of silence where he's holding his mouth, right? And we like, so, and that's sort of what I write down. And then when I go to write it, 
I'm actually when I go to actually like sketch out the panels, I'm honestly only kind of loosely following it. Sometimes it goes way off the rails from what I wrote out the first time. And that's when I do the sort of thumbnail e version, which is like what I was showing before, that sort of like this really sketchy sort of, you know, version of everything. Where it's like really really vague just to sort of get down the idea of what it is um and sort of what you want and then if it's a real like difficult panel like an angled thing like this one or like where he's getting pulled back um i'll use like the 3d models in it just because they're like really weird sort of proportions uh like angles and stuff and um then uh, I'll go on top of the thumbnails with the sketch, which is what you see here, and it's a lot rougher than it used than it was um, when I first did the comic. When I first started doing the comic, I had to like do another pass over this before I could do the lines, but because I know the characters so well at this point. Um, I don't have to go another pass. The easy sketch is pretty confident. Um, and that's sort of it. And then I do the lines. So this sketch basically turns directly into the line work. But yeah, you can see like this This is the panels beforehand, right? It's how vague. And then this is the panels after the sketch. And then I go in with the lines. Yeah, no problem. Uh, I definitely had a lot more, um, sort of, like, passes on the sketch before. It was definitely a lot more difficult. Uh, because I just wasn't that good at art yet, and I wasn't that good at, you know, drawing the characters in general yet. And, but after many 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 times <laughs> of drawing the characters you get to the point where um, it's like oh i can after draw them much trial and tribulation yes i also will say in general as i just got better at art i'm a lot better at drawing without a lot of sketch i guess like doing those animatic like those animation things i did before i don't think i always could have done that i don't think like i always had the ability to draw so confidently with so little, even on characters mm. that I didn't really know. That's like a newer development that I feel like I've gotten in my art skill. I do think what help, has helped me a lot is drawing in my sketchbook every day, not being able to rely on the tools that digital art allows you to use that can become crutches when used improperly. And mm. I really That's a do fair point. recommend doing that. Uh, and you could do it digitally if you can, like, not tempt yourself. <laughs> but I definitely get tempted. <laughs> oh my god, that would have been beautiful. Lack 2. So much better. Cadence? Ugh! Ugh so good! So cadence? good. Cadence? Yeah. Because a cadence is, like, a, a rhythm of thing, and it's also a type of guitar. It's just so good. It's better than Clavier, and he doesn't I, even play piano. I can't see Cadence. I can see it as a name, but not for him. It's so much better than Clavier. So much better. It would have been so good. Uh, mm -hmm. I can say Cadence without like having like a in my mouth, you know? Like, uh. Cadence. It's so good. And you can be like, oh, like, it doesn't sound like a guy's name because, like, you know, like, Cadence is classically, like, a girl's name. But, like, Tracy's, like, was a dude's name. So it's like, you know what? It works. And we don't call him Cadence half the time anyway. Would have been great. Cadence and Kristoff. Uh, see, this is what we could have had. <laughs> this is what we could have had. Oh, Fishikoff, did you my. find out what his name in Japanese was? Try to get them at the same size and space in the sketch. Uh, what are you using? 
What are you using for 3D models? Oh, you just mentioned it? I missed it? Hold on. Let me let me go back and find Let's it. See. Oh, there it is. Show ya! His <laughs> you just hurt Ori even more than she already was. <laughs> My boy! You don't know what the hell you've just Not unleashed. He could have been Joya! Uh, <laughs> uh, oh my God. I love Joya. <laughs> no. You you just massacred Ori. This is how you one shot no. Ori. <laughs> This is the Bodies of Clip Studio. Okay, Kenzie, uh, time for teaching lessons as I mourn the loss of having his name be Kyoya. Huh. <gasps> yes, Face Your Buff Kyoya is the name of yes. one of the characters in Art High School Host Club, and he's my favorite, and I love him. And <laughs> it's so sad. To be fair, uh, he's a great character. He's an amazing character. <laughs> But the uh, amount of damage you just did to Ori so sad. All right. <laughs> is off the charts. Mourn. All right. Um, hmm. Okay. So. Oh my god. First of all, uh, Kenzie, so you drag him in, right? If as so, you see how it's one layer on the right here. Uh, you can kind of see. The, the, the one layer. Now, if I want a second one, if as long as the ground, see how the grid is on the paper? As long as the grid is on the paper, and if I, I don't have to have them selected, but I have to be on the layer, I can drag in um, another one and drag it near the, the, the base where the ground would be as long as it's on the canvas. It can't be in the black part. It has to be on the actual canvas. And he appears within the same layer. Now I have two and I still only have one layer. So now they're always correctly proportional to each other no matter where I move them within the space. But you have to drag the character into where the ground would be. Okay, if I drag it instead into like the gray area, it makes a new layer. See, now I have two layers, which is not what you want. Okay, also, if I click on a thing and I resize it to be, you know, this one is only head at the shoulder height. If you go to the little, you can't really see it. Uh, see this little settings bar down here that pops up? This little bar is a little wrench, and you can click the wrench. And in the wrench, uh, you can change all of the things, right? You can change the body shape. You can also go into and change, you know, just features of the head, all this sort of stuff. And when you get it to be a body shape that you like, say you like this one, this is how your character should look. You go down to this, little thing and it says save body shape as a material and you can go here and you can name it whatever you want and then you put it in the location so it's like I go to 3d and then I, I do body type and then you can have all of your characters so I have all of uh, the characters so if I was to delete this I have Ferrix and then I can also have so, you know, Ferrix has a body type, and then I can also put, like, Sinnet in there, and they're at, like, the heights, and then I can put Aster in there. This is not the right Aster, but, like, they're at the set heights that it works at, and so they're always, you know, Olus is in here. And now they're not perfect, but they get general vibes. And then I always recommend drawing the skeleton over them. So after you, like, you figure out what you want and do it, I, I would never trace, never, ever, ever trace. You always should be in practice of you draw 
the skeleton over it, right? So where is his shoulders? I find the shoulders. I follow, I can follow the midpoint, but then you want to draw in the torso yourself because that gets a good way to know, right? So I'm not really tracing, but I can feel like, okay, the arm is here, the wrist is here, and then I can be like, oh, but I want the thumb to be like a fist, okay? And then you sort of add everything in over it. But I'm not... I'm not going in and like tracing the outlines. I'm going in and it's like, okay, leg, knee, leg, foot, and like that. And I was like, okay, that's kind of, you know, like it out here more. So you still should know anatomy because they're not perfect. And especially when like, you know, Ferrex has digigrade legs. So his legs don't get to really, literally, I, I only follow where his feet end up as like a, a place for it but I have to draw his legs in totally loose but I'll still pose his whole legs because it's like where where it helps out hope that helps Kenzie somebody else gets that animation though later Random on in P and I'm turns. excited for it also Mars did you yes. see the Honkai Star Rail cowboy I did Yes, I, I also saw the trailer of the guy that's just fucking sitting in a bathtub, and then it cuts to him, like getting out his scholarly book and everything. And I'm like, oh my god, I do not know. Fuck? You're welcome. Ken. That oh, one I god. don't know. But I everyone... think I saved it. I'll send it to you. But everyone is because so... I saw that and I was like, what the? So heckin' thirsty over cowboy, and I mean like. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, he he good. fucking does the leg kick. He good does the fucking axe kick, and he literally <sighs> does the splits to do it. And I'm sorry, it's, it's top tier. That's such a vibe, Mason. I, I, I am refuse to play either. I never am gonna play Honkai Star solely Rail. Here but for the I fan respect content. what it's doing. I am solely here for the fan content. I exist in the space of every knowledge I know about Genshin and oh, Honkai is secondhand. I didn't save it. Rats. Unless I put it in my Genshin folder by mistake. That is that is everything that that I know. I did not put it in my Genshin it's folder okay. by mistake. Darn it. I forgive friend. you. I'll look up bathtub guy Honkai. It, it takes a few <laughs> seconds. I bet he'll come up. Bathtub guy. Yeah, Mason, I feel guy. that. I'm committed to Genshin. Honkai looks interesting. I, I'm more Dr. of a fantasy Ratio. person vibe. Oh my god. I'm more of a fantasy <laughs> person vibe. Oh my god. He's just in a tub with a bull. He's just in a fucking tub. <laughs> The, the, the fucking oh, fan I remember, art that has already existed. I remember the video Christ. I saw. It was a reaction video to his trailer. Poor guy was eating ramen, and then it opened on Dr. Ratio in the tub, and he started okay. choking. <laughs> <laughs> he inhaled his noodles this too fast. And it was just like, hold over, like, you gotta warn but me. But, like, look at him, though. But, like, look at him, though. He is quite nice. He looks very nice. He can have a nice bath, okay? He can have a nice bath. Oh my god! It, it's not his fault okay. that everyone was thirsty for it. The fucking... Chibis they always do for all the characters, though, are just precious as fuck. Okay. The freaking Chibis and They're profiles so they give the Honkai characters... ...are... ...too good? They're like, so can, can Genshin precious. get some love, please, guys? They're so precious. Oh. Oh, wow. There is not enough time in my life to draw all of these fucking pretty, pretty boys. Is there a finishing Genshin, Kenzie? They're not just coming out with more shit? <laughs> uh, no, they're coming out with more. That's what I'm saying. There's not a finishing we, Genshin. We have had the wind... Okay, so it was wind, geo, um... Followed by Smeru, so that was Dendro. So cute. Fontaine, Super. which was water. Oh, and he, I always forget about Inazuma. We we have Electro. Yeah. So we're up we to need five cryo. elements. We still need to do Cryo. We still need to do Pyro. Um, 
much it. Is I that think that's all of it. them? Okay, we have two regions left. Yeah. Let's go. The main quest, at least. But uh, <laughs> isn't it just more main quest? It, it will be more main quest, more main story. I love that they have the little side events that do tie into everything and kind of help like flesh out the world and the characters. Like It, it could be wholesome at times. <laughs> and but, also Prima Gem period, so thank yeah. you. But yeah, I just have... I have no... I will never play any of the games, but I will, will sit there and uh, ship along with the majority of artists that I, I follow and... Uh, you know, just enjoy really pretty art of really pretty bros. They are quite pretty. And love, love Sino content. <laughs> Not Sino, Sai Yu. I mean, it is Sino, but you know. <laughs> well, Ori, this is why you need to watch Link Click. Sai Yu voices a I character know. in that okay. show, and as it's literally it's Sai Yu. As long as it's not the level of Edge Runner, and I can be still happy, and there's fucking hope in the world, I'm okay. So, the the way the way the trajectory looks, it looks like yeah, amazing, it's most going likely. to go in a similar direction like Devil Man Cry Baby, oh, no. but with a little bit more hope. Okay, because that we one are destroyed me as three. well. That one destroyed oh. me as well. That one's up Devil, there. Devil Man Cry Baby, like stuck with me psychologically <laughs> it hurts it hurts and it's sudden right like it's okay it's not a gradual shift like suddenly they go from like we live in a society to we live in a fucking society i think the difference between devil man cry baby and edge the reason i keep saying to edge runner i'm pretty sure is because i've very much suppressed devil man cry baby is because it's like in in Edge Runner, I'm like, wow, I saw the signs, right? Like, I saw the signs. It was already really dark from the beginning. I really wanted there to be hope, and then it was just kind of like, no, they just continue to drain the hope out of the hopeful protagonist. And it's like, mm, can't really, can't really be behind that. In Devil May Cry, baby, it's like, no, no, he's hopeful. He'll do it. He'll do it. He'll do it. Fuck. What? Wait, I, I thought he would do it though. No. And then you realize it's just all a punishment for Rio. And it's he like. He just gets to relive his best friend dying over thanks. and over and over because he sinned against God. But it's like, um, why did I have to also be punished? <laughs> what did I do? The same you with chose Hades to watch Town. The show. How dare oh, you? Oh, goodness. I well, didn't know town, you know the story. Yeah, that is true. But I, I didn't know about Devil May Cry Baby. It was it was Listen, the, the remake I, was I coming gotta out. Say, the the ending of Devil Man left me shook. But I think the part that stuck with me the most, I'm like th this is like one of those things I flash back to every now and then, is the scene where the younger brother because it becomes a demon and starts eating the mom. <laughs> Oh yeah, and then asked his father to put him like out of his misery. I'm just like, oh, fuck. yeah, it's, mm. that's like, oh, that's messed up. Yeah, yeah, that's so fucking messed up. Yeah, it's a lot. Jesus Christ, who wrote this? Yep. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. But this, but... but this is why I love animation, guys, because Did you can play what? around with ideas. Thanks. But <laughs> yes, you are. But uh, not Lil's Devil May Todd. Cry. Devil Man Cry, baby. Yeah, Devil May Cry Devil is a video game cry. series. You don't have to be scared of that. <laughs> as far as I know. Yes. No. The anime that I have a little gum dispenser of. Uh, Mason says hi, Dylan. Okay. And Mason, you made it to the end. Look at this. Yeah. Congrats. Well. This is the end of stream, guys. Thank you all for hanging out with us and chilling and vibing as we literally just chill and vibe and work on yes. and rant about names and other shit. And Today was yeah. a focus on getting stuff done. Kenzie also says hi, Dylan. Hey. Godot was gonna be a robot? Damn, they did that with the walkie-talkie. <laughs> mm. I'm but, glad they didn't uh, go that route. <laughs> no, we had the walkie-talkie and it was good. 
But thank you all for coming. Thank you all for hanging out. And uh, we hope to see you guys on Thursday for more similar vibe and talking. Drawn and Dragons. Yes. This time doing them follow. Finishing him, ideally. And, all right, that's uh, the have her character. Woohoo! Yep. And of course, uh, Ace Attorney Investigations on Friday. At an earlier time, guys. It's at 7.30 yes. Eastern that Daylight Time. That was not an April Fool's prank. That no, was actually real. No, it's not April real. Fool's. That's Sorry real. it went up on April Fool's. It did it. It went timing. up today. This is the second. It's not April Fool's. No April Oh, did Fools. it? I thought it went up yesterday. No, nope. I was lazy. Okay. But. Well, that worked out my well. My dog then. does not want to go outside. All right, guys. <laughs> Good night. And uh, we'll see you all Thursday. Good night, everybody. See you on Thursday.